Good morning, folks. Oh, the, my fucking weekend has been rough. <laughs> I apologize for just not being around. I've been on call for this holiday weekend, and uh, anyway, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be fine. And especially since we're gonna be playing some Dragon Quest Eight today, so we're gonna have a good time with that. I it's required and um yeah we'll we'll be doing that but um <laughs> my brain's still f trying to fire up uh yeah we're still fundraising up my friend Hachiko um below the stream you can click stuff uh, normally there's a chat bot that shares stuff but I'm not seeing that right now so I don't know what's going on with that but if, if necessary, I can get you the chat command, or below the stream is probably the best place to be able to click to donate and help Hachiko out of it, out of his his living situation. But yeah, help Hachiko. Hello, Sordio Ventus. Welcome. We are about to we are about to start uh, playing some DQ8 for today, and I was just doing the you know pre-stream spiel that I do because I'm always trying to fundraise and help friends or other folks. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and I'll put the thingy down here. Let me see. There we go. Now you can see my my luscious eyeball. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and boot the ISO here. Come. I see you. Come, come on. Come on, game. Come on, emulator. Be gentle. Please. Is it going to be one of these more? Okay, no. Okay, there we go. I think it's right now. Okay. Christ. It's like a 50-50 with this freaking emulator and if it wants to display stuff properly. <laughs> How is your morning going? Ugh. Getting ready for work. Uh, I st because of my because of my new job that I got like in, in July. My streaming schedule is now mornings because I work in like I go to, I get to work at like one in the afternoon. So I I know. Um, I would prefer no spoilers if possible. I mean, there's only so much you can avoid with, like, a 20-something-year-old game. But, yeah, direct spoilers, I would appreciate not having those. You're free to talk about the game otherwise. Ooh, nice. I mean, t saying there's a hidden final boss isn't, like, too super spoiler spoilery for these games, because, like, I think since at least the third one, they've had, like, secret final bosses. I think in uh, DQ3, they had a Divinagon or Divine Dragon or whatever the fuck its name is. You know, one of those, it's one of those dragons in the quests. <laughs> and that's all good. I'm not going to chew your head off for just saying, hey, I beat the final hidden final boss because I, there's probably one in this game too. <laughs> Alright, so we're level like 20s and we're, pro we're fighting stuff we're probably not meant to be fighting yet. Sweet. We're, we're, we're trying to, um, we're, we're on to the Holy Island of Neos, which, no relation to the Elemental Heroes. There you go. See? Perfect. That's perfectly fine by me. Alright, uh, come on. Give me some gold golems. Ask and you shall receive. Alright, um... Uh, we're, we're doing okay. I found that gold golems live here. So we're trying to get some gear from this town. <clears throat> the, the bling bling dudes, yeah. Uh, we're, we're here for them. Uh, 
Oh, well, I don't know what I just selected, but oh, okay, it doesn't matter. It's dead. <laughs> yeah, that that money is the only reason I'm here. Cause there's some gear in uh, in town that's a pretty stark upgrade compared to uh, what we currently have. So I'm just trying to trying to get good, and then I think we got to head to the western one of the western continents. Oh boy, two of them. This could get spicy. Um, I might have, I might have barked, got a little bit more than I could ask for. I don't know if I have Kaboom yet. I really want the next uh, Bang spell. So we're gonna at least initially try to just buff our stats a little, cause those golems hit hard. Oh, yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Little shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, this is not a good, um, a good showing of the good old, uh, the good old dudes. Uh, let's see if we can kill these little bastards at least. It's Jessica's the only one that can fucking move. Well, that there was an attempt. An attempt was made. <laughs> man, don't hit a man while he's down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> well, I guess we kind of have to do another crack on these little bastards now, because... Go to sleep. Thank you. <laughs> oh wow, I'm surprised he actually he actually survived that. Um All right, let's continue as normal. Nothing happened. You saw nothing. <laughs> God damn it. Sometimes battles just go that way. <laughs> Alright. I still think it was worth it just because of all that money, because that's a lot of money. Uh, let's see. 4200? Uh, you know what? Let's go see if that's enough to buy something, because I, I, I've, su I've suffered enough. <laughs> I, I got just the shit clobbered out of me, so let's hopefully that's enough to at least get a upgrade of some kind from the armor shop. Alright. Let's see. Don't need that. I already got that. Let's see. A light shield versus a steel shield. Iron. Yeah, there's just so many good upgrades here for Yangus and, and the hero. Uh, let's see. Is, is the iron mask more of an upgrade or is the steel shield? Um, I can only get one right now, so I might as well get the, the one that's best. Oh, well, alright. I didn't want to organize the bag, but, like, whatever. So it goes. Um, so now I just need a shield for for Mavis there, and then we'll have uh, that upgrade done. <clears throat> but Yangus still needs, a, I think, a, sh a shield and a um, 
then Yang is still needs a shield and a helm, and then I got two shields for everyone else, and then we'll be good. Uh, we're gonna go to the uh, Hilltop Hutto's heal. That's a good. I that's a good idea. I should check that. We're just gonna zoom back to this little place. that's like twenty gold to. It's like twenty gold to uh, use the inn. I think I was making some, uh, rose wart or whatever the fuck it's called in this game. I, I, I meant triangle shit. <laughs> Alright, there we go. I will say, as far as the alchemy, alchemy pot, <laughs> as far as the alchemy pot goes, this is just like, yeah, I was about to say something like that, literally, like DQ9 has the sweet spot for how the alchemy pot works, because this one, you have to wait like a fucking year, and you only make one thing at a time, so, this is the PS2 version, as you can probably tell, I'm just playing it because, well, I was able to find it, and here we go, you know. Now, I would try to grind stu stuff elsewhere, but, like, these gold golems just give way too much money for, to not, for me to not grind here, even though they kick my ass, as you saw. Like, if there's more than one of them, it gets real... Granted, one, just one of them by themselves could do the desperate attack, because... You know, sometimes you just get fucked over. I would love to, but I was very foolish when it came to uh, my skill points so far. And is there, I'll, I'll ask one thing: Is there somewhere you can uh, change your skill points, like re like revocation or whatever? I was a little stupid when I did my skill points, and I'm trying to pivot Yangus back to doing axes because that because of Hatchet Man. Because yeah, all right, thank you, thank you. Because I know DQ9, you, you just get so many skill points it doesn't matter, and in 11 they do have revocation or like whatever they call it, to where you can just like pay gold to get your skill points back. But I'm not sure about this game. <clears throat> Well, I guess that means uh, Angelo and Jessica aren't wearing underpants because they weren't shocked by the underpants dance. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure that's what that means, but that's kind of my interpretation. They're just like, oh, no one, no underpants. Well, I've seen that before. <laughs> Yes. Axes are good for, uh... Oh, there's, is there no way to reclaim skill points? Well... At least I'm doing the right thing with Yangus now. Ugh, Jesus Christ. Um... Cause, not only were I put a ton of points in hammers, like a fool. And, um, yeah. Ne needless to say, I'm not using hammers anymore. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea anyway. I should have known better from playing um, other DQs. Ah. Okay, well, I guess that'll have to do. For now, we're just kind of trying to get some... Uh, <clears throat> we're just trying to get money for gear anyway, so it's not like an XP farm necessarily. Oh, I hate these little bastards. Can I, can I like, get them to go away? Yeah. 
I guess the answer is no. Oh, that one went away. Alright, fine, whatever. We'll, we'll fight two of them, because whatever. <clears throat> hey, you know what? A low rate to get skill seeds so I can, like... <clears throat> okay, well, that's good. Uh, at the rate of the thing, at least the Angus will have Hatchet Man at some point before the end of the game. I hope, at least. His his rate of gaining skill points has like dropped to the fucking floor. It feels like so. I don't know. We'll see. Underscore Ventus has joined the Bean Army. Thank you, Sordio. Thanks for the follow. I play a lot of games like this. Like my t two of my mainstay kind of like things on my channel are uh, Dragon Quest and Tales of. Because I played both of them growing up, and well, I'm still playing them, <laughs> and I'm trying to catch up with the ones I missed. Like I missed playing this as a kid because I didn't have a PS2. So here we are, at the age of like 30. Two? Yeah, that, that's how old I am. <laughs> totally didn't have to think about what year it is. <laughs> um, yeah, I play a lot of stuff like this and just kind of building games. I just try to play stuff that I like and hopefully people also like. <clears throat> Why do they call it dragon when you drag on the level grind, drag up the gear, complete the grind? <laughs> that's a very good question. You know what? That before I'm playing Arise now. That that's the one I played before Arise. Now I played Legendia all the way through. Someone cover me while I'm casting cheese. There you go. Yep. There you go. See hug dispenser. There you go. Thanks. Thanks for illustrating that. <laughs> oh, I think my headset decided to turn itself off. Give me a sec to turn it back on because this headset is on its like. Death Throws. I've had it for like a few years. Yeah, I, I quite liked Legendia. I, I literally never hear anyone talking about it. For I, I don't know why. I just never hear anyone talk about Legendia ever. Unless they're saying, please remake this poor game. Because it, it's a little rough around the edges. Because it's, you know, a 2005 JRPG. Kind of like this. But... Otherwise, yeah, it's, it's great. I had a good time. I love just picking up enemies and throwing them. It was pretty fun. Oh, I should have healed Jessica. Well, uh, these fuckers suck. We're going to fight them anyway. Yeah... I I, I had a really good time with Berseria too, but don't play that on a computer that can't handle it because you'll just s suffer. Like, you'll have like 3 FPS and you'll be like, I don't know what's going on and it just won't feel good. <clears throat> anyway, we're gonna fight these birds and hopefully be able to actually kill one of them because they have a bad habit of like using mid heal on themselves. Yeah, that's per that's that's the that's the thing there. Yeah, it's like you try playing it and it's just like, hmm, good luck, I guess. Oh, thank goodness they didn't kill her. I was like, oh, they're gonna pile on Jessica. <clears throat> oh, well, it also didn't help that it was probably on PSP, cause like, yeah, PSP. How about, how about that PSP? Decent enough uh, console, there's some pretty good stuff on it, it's just, it's competing with the DS, like, you gotta kinda, I'm well, glad I healed her, cause she would've just got, fucking asshole bird is just trying to kill Jessica. <laughs>
Yeah, Bandai Namco does not always bird up, bird up, bird down now. <laughs> bird fucking definitely down. Alright, let's see if we can actually find a gold golem instead of just a bunch of birds and like tap dancing <laughs> Russian people <laughs> doing like the swol ob squat. Oh god, this. Oh, well. We, uh, we, we found some gold golems! <laughs> this is a bad fight. Hello, this, is, this is a really bad fight. Yeah, no shit. That's. Whew. Well, let's get started, I guess. I'm more tempted to go for the birds and the golems at this point, because holy shit. Yeah, we're gonna go for the, for the freaking birds, because they can heal the golems. <laughs> um. The worst, the worst show on television? Question mark. Uh, I can't remember if Super Throw is better than Firebird Throw. We're gonna try Firebird Throw, cause I mean it's got costs more MP. It's got to be better, right? Um. Hmm. I guess we'll just do Kabuff. And you, I guess, just do Boom. No, we're gonna Kasap the birds, I guess. Actually, no. Speed. We gotta be fast. Ah, Monster Hunter. I've heard good things about those, but I just have not had time or brain to play anything like that. Well, now we have to fight for real. Hopefully we can kill the fucking birds. I'm not expecting swoosh to work. No oh, one bird's dead. Oh god, you're so fast. Why are you so fast? <laughs> okay, at least one of the birds is actually dead. We can we can deal with this now. We're lucky that we got a um, a uh, surprise attack. Cause this could have been a wipe. No no joking. The birds could have just kept the golems alive, and the golems could just desperate attack everything. That was almost the worst. Uh, Jesus. Um. All right, well, they're dead. They have a lot less HP than I thought. All right, that was probably like the best case scenario for that to have turned out, holy crap. 1,500 gold coins. Other than the slight heart attack I had seeing that big ass group, that was, pro that was well worth it. Um, hmm. I don't think we can afford, well, you know what? I think we can afford a single shield. So we're gonna buy a uh, shield before our, we die and lose all the money that we just got, basically. <laughs> um, Cause we're just trying to gr grind for like gear at this point. So let's see, we got armor for them. Helmet for Yangus would be good, but we're gonna focus on getting just all the stuff for the hero first. Cause it's just like one less person to buy shit for. Alrighty, awesome. Thanks, thanks for stopping in before you work. By the way, I know how it is to have to get ready for work and then juggle all the stuff. So I appreciate you stopping in. All right, so Mavis is decked out to the nines. We don't have enough ro we don't have enough rose roots yet to sell them for anything meaningful, so we're not gonna worry about that. Well, 
we spend most of our money, so if we die, we won't lose that much, so. Like, one good battle like that can get us a gear upgrade. That's how... Yeah, it's... Yeah. <laughs> The Angus can just whistle. Oh, furries! Gross. <laughs> I say as I, I say as definitely a furry. Oh, look at him tap dance. That's actually really good. Oh, God. That, I I didn't realize that's what they were, do they were doing until I were like, oh, that's fucking hustle dance. Asshole. Is just healed at the fucking party entirely. That's not great. That's fucking annoying. I wish they wouldn't do that anymore, but they're going to. <clears throat> and they're also really, really dedicated to attacking the people in the back of the line. Fucking furries. <laughs> <clears throat> Good thing Jessica's fast and has a, a, a heal. It's literally free. <clears throat> Zero MP to do catechist. Really good. I'm glad I got one staffs with her. Oh come on! Seriously, like I thought like five five of the like five of their attacks is about open just on Angelo. I know he's a fuck boy, but come on. Like, can you at least like attack Yingus once? <laughs> Who's literally in front, just didn't get targeted a single time. You know, it's fine. I'm not mad, you're mad. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Why? Why are there so many? We got furries, we got... We got gym, we got dude, dancing dudes, we got fucking birds. Which, we have to go for the birds first. We have to, they're like... Very, they're easily the most annoying thing in this fight. And we also probably just need to go for Bang, too. Oh god, why are you so fast? Oh god damn it, why? Well one of the birds is dead. <laughs> oh great. Well at least we're gonna have a turn without Hero just killing everyone with boomerangs. Cause Hero's just fucking I don't know. Okay. Oh, hey, you're not fun with it anymore. You're still dancing, though. <laughs> you know what? You can tap dance, dude. It's fine. Not 69 heal. You love to see it for them, I guess. Jesus Christ. If I wasn't grinding for gear, I would not be here fighting these things. These are the fucking worst. <laughs> oh my god.
Oh, the fucking hipsters suck too. They have like a big, big AOE. Fucking hipsters, am I right? Big ol' ass of effect. You have boom? What the fuck? Noose me, ow. That works. Jessica's literally the fastest one in the party, but she moved l like last. <laughs> I don't understand the turn order for this game sometimes. We're trying to use Angus's MP for heal before anyone else, because everyone else actually uses it in, in battle. Oh, come on. Can I get a gold golem or two, at least? Perfectly just one. Angus is down for the count. <laughs> She's just taking a snooze. Ow, that still did so much damage. Well, whatever. Guess we're not getting an AoE attack today, aren't we? So that's a turn wasted. Like, completely. <laughs> And we now have to dedicate to healing. Oh, Jesus Christ. These things suck more than I thought they did. Oh, well, Angela's dead. Goddess, have mercy. Ugh. Is this gonna be the fucking battle that wipes me? Yep. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh, the only thing you can do is flee. No, no, yeah, we're probably dead. Well, she's dead. And they're probably dead too. Yeah, this. This single battle is like the fucking worst. Can we. Nope, yeah, we're dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Didn't know this was the worst enemy combination, but apparently it is. Yeah, we're dead. Jesus fucking Christ, those suck. That was the worst. By far. What the hell? Yep, blah sheep, blah blah blah. Well, I mean, we can find a gold golem or two, it won't really matter. It just kind of sucks, because, you know, I probably had some money built up. But unfortunately, there's still not a better place to get money than there for this gear, which would help a lot. So we're we're go we're going we're going back to the to the ball grinder. <laughs> so to speak. Cause where else are we gonna go? The story? Nah! Who, who needs that? Okay. Alright, so we're killing this fucking hipster first. Like, there's no... Cause half these fuckers' attacks don't even 
care about defense anyway, so we're not going to worry about boosting it. Are you kidding me? Are you shitting me right now? Are you shitting my ass? <laughs> my fucking god. What a what a shit show. I was gonna say that thing's gonna attack Angelo, aren't they? Before the fastest character in my party moves like not first. Ugh, whatever. We found a gold golem. That basically makes up for our death anyway. And probably then some. Oh, level up. Alright, well I guess that's something. 16 HP, that's good. Six skill points. Well... I really like boomerangs, as you can probably tell, because they let you do a lot of AoE damage. Boomerangs is a boomer star! 20 more attack. You know what? That's good, actually. Volpone, huh? What do you got? Leather cape? That's fucking sucks. Alright, well. Good old boomer star. I can't think of any of any boomers that are stars that I actually like, give a shit about, so. Boomer Star! Woo! Oh well. It's funny because like everything else aside from the gold golem is a priority to kill because well, they don't run away, they're just they just hit hard. And these little bastards do status shit that I do not like. That's probably the absolute best outcome that battle could have had. More gold coins. Two, two, something. I mean, that's probably enough for like the shield upgrade for Yangus, I guess. Let's go investigate. Excuse me, horse. Yeah, I'm gonna predict that at least like the first hour of this stream is gonna be me just getting all this gear from this store. Alright, steel shield's 2500, we can sell the iron shield that Ingus has. Just barely, to squeak by. <clears throat> Alright, and then we need, uh... 3500 total for the iron mask for Yangus, which is a nice upgrade too. I mean, the fur hood is going to make it a little less strenuous to get that. We'll hold on to this leather cape, too, because that's worth more than I was expecting. And this is another, like, 500, like 600 gold, so... Like, a thousand of it's already... Like, a thousand or so of it's already covered, give or take. Speaking of which, let's check the alchemy pot, because it's been a minute and I didn't hear it go off. Like, it's been a hot minute. God damn! That takes a lot longer to cook than the other ones. Fuck you, Alchemy Pot. Making me look bad. I don't need your help look looking bad. I do that on my own. I get like clapped by like two fucking hipsters and a 
fucking dancing devil. <laughs> With their bewitching be shit ass moves. Alright. Come on, gold golem! No. Zero gold golems were found. <laughs> I wish we had boom. I guess sizzle, I don't fucking know. Well, I I don't. I don't I I don't need I don't need <laughs> I can I can look I can look bad all on my own. I am that. I am a, an accomplished dipshit. <laughs> well, that was exciting. We got like 60 gold. I'm just because got dive bombed by a little fucking shit, shit ass. Alright. Well. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the dude. As the birds came- oh god, they, they back attacked us too. Come on, really? She's literally in the back of the line. Now I'm gonna have her heal herself. Son of a bitch, whatever. I'm not mad, you're mad, TM. Oh, might as well kabuff with him, because Swoosh is gonna do fuck all. Are you serious? Ugh. Asshole fucking birds. Alright, let's try Zing. <laughs> it's like you're next on the list to be bullied, Angelo. I'll admit, I've had some good luck with Zing. You know what? Fuck you, heal. I don't care. One of you is gonna be dead. Soon. I think. Oh no, we attacked the one that just healed, so not yet. It's not dead yet. <laughs> uh. Partially because these two have to just heal themselves, because these birds like doubling down on people, it seems. Someone cover me while I'm casting keys! Right? Fucking exactly. Jesus Christ. Oh great, the battle started over, basically. Because the birds healed themselves completely. Fucking assholes. Oh fuck you, Co Condor. Oh, that one had lower defense from Yangus, so that, that was our saving grace. Can't heal defense drops, shithead. <laughs> really? We're just gonna- I'm gonna shoot you? I'm gonna kill you and then kill you again. Just get out of my fucking face. <laughs> <clears throat> Those weren't even worth it. I just can't run from them because they're way too fast. Granted, I probably could go somewhere else to get gear, but like, I saw this gear and it's like, whoa, that's a really big upgrade. Let me just let me just grind a little bit here, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're, we're here. We are just suffering. Every single battle is, a, is pain. Ugh. Especially these. These suck. They don't give you a good anything, and then they just confuse everyone, and just bad. Bad times. Bad vibe. Bad times. Bad vibes. Just, just perish. I'm gonna drink my coffee. <laughs> Oh, I hate them. Any any damage? No? Alright, next battle. <clears throat> oh god. These guys suck. These probably are some of the worst. Among a group of the worst. <laughs> At least they can't heal. With like a small consolation prize. 
But if both of them decide they want to just like do the their big AOE attack, then my casters are just dead. There's like no getting around it. They're just dead. <clears throat> Sizzle does fuck all. Swoosh does fuck all. Um, you just dodged. Oh, there's... Well, there's one. Let's see what the other one does. Okay, it didn't... It, it, it decided to give me mercy. And not fucking just outright kill my, my casters. Uh, motherfucker. Fuck. <laughs> At least Jessica will survive, the incoming ass. Okay, they'll, they'll both survive the next AoE that happens. Because it's going to happen. Okay, well, close enough. 31 damage. Christ. I know I'm bitching a lot, but I do like this game. <laughs> this I'm just in a unfortunate situation where I need the money and these, this player is the best place to get it. Because everyone else just gives, like, no fucking GP at all. Which is something I hope they fixed in the 3DS port. Because money's hard to get unless you're, like, here. It seems like. Uh, Volpones. See, I got decently high up in the hammer tree. I was thinking maybe that's how you steal stuff in this game. Because stealing stuff is, has worked good for me in uh, other DQ games. Like with, uh... In DQ 11 and 9. Like, I had, like... Like, in 9, especially, I had, like, everyone have half-inch. And just, like, steal, 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 steal. <laughs> Alright, let's kill these assholes. No, no, knock them off. Force of habit. Swoosh. A long last they're deciding to attack the person in the front of the party. Oh, they had to get their licks in on the person in the back, though. Or one of them. Please learn a new spell! Please! Well, I mean, that's a new spell. Miss Frizzle! <laughs> oh, alright, well, I guess that extra point's gonna go into sex appeal, I don't know. Don't know what good that really does, it probably doesn't have any, any good to really do, but, you know what, whatever. Oh, hello, friend. You're literally the th only reason I'm here. <clears throat> hey, we can use the Frizzle. Go! Frizzle, go! Oh, that's actually not bad. I mean, it's only, I, I think Crack does similar on some enemies, so it's kind of like weird. Alright, how much money do we have now? Um, probably not enough yet to sell stuff and then get Yangus' uh, helm. So, let's do another battle or two. Hopefully not too many more. Uh. <clears throat> these battles with these enemies are just taking a lot out of me. <laughs> They're just not very fun, because they just, they're hard. Probably because I'm not supposed to be here yet, technically, even though you can sail here. That doesn't, just because you can doesn't mean you should, oh, you have boom, fuck you. <laughs> like, just because you can doesn't mean you should, like, when I first got the ship last stream, 
I tried going to the northwest continent, and I immediately ran to octopuses that like to wipe my party. <laughs> so yeah, just because you can go somewhere doesn't mean you probably you probably shouldn't. So I'm glad the game clarified which I, the game clarified for me which western continent they wanted me to go to by sending murder squids at me. <laughs> Good old murder squids, gotta love them. All right, fucking freeze to death, assholes. Fucking furries. I guess they just probably wanted to pick me up and go, oh, fucking furries. I, I, I am a furry. <laughs> I am like 1,000% a fucking furry. Let's be, let's be honest. Let's be real. Oh, well, Yangus is out of MP, so I guess it's your turn. Hey, thanks for stopping in this morning. It's nice, nice talking with you. Nice meeting you. I hope I can see you soon. And have a good day at work. <clears throat> oh, hey, gold golem, perfect. Nice timing. Pop him right in his big ass head. Alright, that should surely be enough for this fucking helmet. I'm tempted just to leave after that and say screw to their shields. For. I mean, the shield, the light shield, I think are a little cheaper than, like, this fucking helmet that we're trying to buy, because this shit's expensive. Alright, so first things first, sell this. Uh, we'll, un we'll unequip the fur hood. Let's see if anyone else can use it. Oh, well, Jessica definitely can't. Which is weird. It's typically it's typically an item that uh, women can wear in these games. So, well, all right. Well, answer that answer that question for me. <clears throat> well, let's start selling shit until I have enough money. Is it 3,500? I can't remember how much it is. This 3,500. So we're gonna sell some of these uh of these um, rose roots here. Which for how much longer they're taking to make than the other thing? I might stop making these for money. Uh, let's see. We need 3,500. So. I do have this extra gold bracer, but I think I want to hold on to that and maybe give that to someone. I'm thinking about it. We could have sold this Templar sword, but I'm going to hold on to that in case I need to go back to swords for some reason. Or want to go back to swords for some reason. Oh, I have this pointy helm. That's like just enough to uh, <laughs> get, that, get, that, get the hat. And then we can zoom back to the other place and heal. And Like, these shields aren't nearly as expensive. And, I mean, for Angela, that's a huge defense bump, so I think it's still worthwhile getting it. It's just... Ugh. All this defense gear does not help against those Gold Golem's desperate attacks. And I, I'm honestly not sure if it helps against, the, like, the spinning ass attack the hipsters do either, so... This is mostly just for the other parts of the game that aren't <laughs> fucking here, I guess. And rest assured, while I'm... Everywhere else, I'm well. I'm here. If I have to come here again, I'm not fighting any of the enemies unless I have to. Just fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> so we're gonna rest here because it's 20 gold, and you can just zoom here. 
Oh, it's 12. It's even better. It's like 12 gold. You can zoom here from anywhere. That's outside. And then we can zoom right back to where the enemies are, so... The, the end inside town is like 200. I'm like, fuck that. And I was like, oh, wait, I can just come here. Easy. Probably, probably like one of the only big brain things I've ever had in this fucking game is like that. It's just like, oh, hey, we can just do that. Come on, really? At this point, I don't want to cancel it because that's, you know, more GP. <clears throat> like, honestly, the increased time it takes to make it versus the more money you get isn't really worth. Because to make one of the, the strong medicines, it's... 16 gold for 88 back which I mean I can pull up calculator I guess we're gonna we're gonna do that we're, we're gonna math it out we're gonna go nerd mode okay come on encoding overload is it what stupid ass OBS all right so 16 is the input we should probably do this the other way let's see I think it's 88 for one of those medicines and it's minus 16 so that's that's 72 GP gain per those that we make. As opposed to, I think it's 118 minus 24. It's an extra 20 gold, but the, the, the amount of time it makes, you could probably make maybe even two of the other ones, and it's less herbs. So, yeah, we'll just be we'll just make a bunch of the other medicines instead. And we'll probably just save the ones we have left over for actual use. Like well, you're like them, give them to like Jessica or something. She's quote unquote the fastest character in in my party. Big air quotes, because sometimes it doesn't fucking feel like it. Like sometimes she moves like after freaking the hero, and the hero's definitely not faster than she is. At least I don't think so. Let's see, agility 60. No, she's she's easily got the highest agility in my party. That's with Angel having the bunny tail. <laughs> Oh, well, I guess let's get back to it, because fuck else are we going to do? Oh, boy. Well, I mean, among the shitty enemies to fight, these are, like, some of the least shitty, because they only attack and... Well, they have hustle damage. That's annoying, but they can at least drop that thing, that, that the leather cape that sells for, like, 500, so... It's not the worst fighting them. It's just almost the worst. <laughs> All right, super throw, uh, swoosh, and you know we'll try crackle. Sure, that's not bad. Really, I hate I hate that. I hate boom. I wish I had Boom on my caster. That would make these kind of fights so much easier. Yeah, I'm more, than, I'm more than happy to use all Vingus' MP just for, uh, heals between fights, because, yeah. oh god, this is a, this is bad, we might, we might literally die, because these red tail hipsters. Alright, I think we're gonna have to come buff for this one, I don't know if that's gonna work or do anything. No, it's probably not, we're gonna have to just try to clobber these goddamn dudes as fast as possible. Okay, I don't think Crackle did fucking anything, so we're gonna just try Bang, because there's so many enemies. Okay, Bang did more than the other eight spells on, uh, stuff, so. And if these, if these hipsters don't, like, do their AoEs, it's basically free. It's when they do those that it just kind of sucks. Alright, one of them's dead. Oh, it wasn't the one that attacked, so yeah, we got it. We got a little. Oh, he's dead. Good thing I'm not grinding for XP. <laughs> Fuck's sakes. 
Yeah, nothing I could have done could have prevented that death, because that death protect does way more damage than Angela has health, so, you know, it's kind of like, you know, I was expecting at least eight deaths, so, you know, we, this could have went way worse. It is going to cut into our money, but thankfully, probably not that much. I can at least try to keep Jessica alive. Never mind, doesn't matter, the battle's over. Fuck's sakes. Well, that's just XP that he just doesn't get now, so that's fun. Way to be fall even farther behind, Angelo. <laughs> I mean, I think in the grand scheme of things, that 400 XP is not going to fucking really matter much. Oh yeah, I forgot this place doesn't really seem to like have like a, an actual church. Oh, it's finally done. Fucking alchemy pot, shit ass alchemy pot. <laughs> oh boy, rose root. Yeah, we're not making rose root anymore. We're, we'll just make a... Uh... We'll just make more of those medicines because they're a lot faster to make. And overall, like, in the time it takes to make one of those, you can probably make two of these. Which, like, does not balance out whatsoever in, like, any way. They probably didn't really test things out very well with this regard. And it sucks, because I can't revive Angelo with himself, because, you know, he's fucking dead. And there's not, there's not... For being the holy island of Neos, there's not a fucking church here that you can use. We can't zoom either, so we have to use a, a, a wyvern wing, which we do have some. Probably specifically for this uh, case. <laughs> like, literally just for this case in general. And the hilltop hut here, funny enough, does have a church. <laughs> Well, at the very least, he died for a good cause, which is like 1,500 gold. Even though it's going to cost some uh, to bring him back. You know what? Still a net positive. <laughs> your, your your death was your death was not in vain, Angelo. You get you, we made some money. <laughs> That's awful to say, but you know what? Can't argue with results. I mean, you can, but, like, in this case, you really can't, because he died, and we got, like, 1,500 GP, so, I mean, I think I can, I think I can live with that. Yeah, we're gonna just rest while we're here, might as well. We did literally one battle, and had to come back here, tail between our legs. <laughs> Frankly, I'd rather, like, anyone else die other than Angelo. Most of the time. I still gotta have Jessica in the back because she's still easily the, the squishiest character in the party. I wouldn't be surprised if like the enemies here are like a few like one or are one or two stages higher than the ones we're supposed to be going. Cause these things these things are hard. Ugh, you. Tap devils. No, super throw every battle. I don't even care anymore. If we need MP, we'll just get it back, I guess. Oh boy, well, at least two of our AoE people didn't get fucking hit by that, because... Yeah, Yankus is already fucking knocked off his ass. You know what? Whatever. Get out of my sight. Oh, shit! <laughs> He's like, I'm the only one that's allowed to dance. <laughs> no, de no one else gets to dance in my presence and just crits a little fucker. Alright, um, uh, whistle! Oh! Oh! Well, I guess at this point we'll just try to kill the gold golem first, because these birds will just heal themselves anyway. 
And I can't really do whoosh, swoosh, or anything on those guys, so. Kabuff, and, um. Well, since this battle is probably gonna take more than one turn. Ah, oh, fuck it, we'll just do bang. I was gonna do accelerate all, but. But they shouldn't be able to heal themselves this turn, because that would be serious cheat, like, Gen 1 Pokemon levels of cheating. Because I don't know if y'all know this, but in Gen 1, the, the, the AIs, like, move... Oh, wow, that one must have just queued up. Either they can cheat like that, or, like, I don't know, maybe something else is going on. But yeah, Gen 1 Pokemon, they can... Like they read your they read your inputs, and they move at like they they know what you're gonna do, and so like, they kind of just do what else is, happens. As long as they heal themselves and not the gold golem, I don't really care. Like, I could really care less, because that gold golem is the only reason we're actually, you know, here. So killing that, and then the birds will just kind of die eventually anyway. They're also just more likely to heal themselves anyway, because they're selfish assholes. As most birds are. They're, they're smart like that. They're just a, just a little selfish. Sometimes you have to be. And we still can't use Swish, and I think they're just immune to it, so we'll just, like, I don't know. Well, I guess so we can definitely use Needle Shut to try to grind metals. I don't know how useful that is, but... Well, at least one of the fucking birds is dead. Oh, all right, well, shit. That was a good use of one MP. <laughs> Look at me learning something new. I was like, oh, it's, surely it's not very good, right? Well, it just worked, so I mean, I can't really argue with that. <laughs> Okay, it literally is all or nothing, that's... So it's like a little assassin dagger from uh, DQ3. Well, this is giving me real DQ3 vibes. <laughs> it's like listening to smooth jazz. Oh, this is giving me real Persona vibes. It's like, sh it's like shut up. <laughs> yeah. Well, the gold golem definitely made it worth it. The birds are just kind of... Extra XP, I guess. Alright, how much money we got now? That's enough to buy one shield and start on another. So we're gonna... We're, we're get in the fucking town, Yangus. Get your big, beefy ass in there. Dude's gotta have some big old clappers. You know, we'll give it we'll give it to Jessica f first. In part because she just has like a scale shield I can sell to get it out of the slot. Alright, so we'll get her to this light shield. Alright, so a few more a few more gold golems and we'll have all the gear here and then we can finally actually do the story again cuz yeah oh well we just didn't oh well, I probably did catechist outside of inside in battle to heal up whatever damage was done which is really great because catechist is, costs 0 MP but you can only use it in battle so it's kind of like a if you don't have anything useful to do for the turn you might as well use it on someone that's lost some HP anyway All right, uh, more eat, more birds. Mm. 
Really? I know she's pretty, but come on, dudes. Can you control yourself for like five seconds? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, bird. I was expecting that to actually work. But, hey. I definitely makes things a little easier on the party if we can just insta-kill stuff like that sometimes. Uh, I just I just groan every time I get into battle something that's not a, uh, a freaking golem because these enemies are not fun in the slightest. You know what? I know there's all a group. Let's see if Bang doesn't does better. I mean, does all right. Probably not much less than all the other fuckers. Oh, is a clean sweep. You know what? Fuck you, Tap Devils. Not even close. Oh! Thank Christ. Oh, lots of MP. I wish you got more HP, but, you know. There's always so much you can really ask for. With, uh... With, uh, with clerics, they tend to have really bad growth anyway, other than MP. Which is great for, you know, spells, but otherwise it's kind of... They just kind of die. It kind of sucks. Okay, now we're just kind of labbing out just different spells, see which ones work on these little top devils best. Uh, yeah, not much more than, um... Not much more than, uh, what you call them. Not much more than, a uh, bang. No oh boy, I love this encounter. You know, we'll just use whack on one of the birds. Actually, no, we're gonna use Kabuff. And you get to do just. fucking bang, I guess. That or you do, um. oomph. on Mavis. Yeah, I'll try oomph on Mavis, because that seems like it'll probably do way more damage. Since Mavis already hits everything anyway, it's like. the biggest AoE possible. Oh wow, yeah, that was, well, that did a, a trim. oh, get fucked, bird. Bird up, as they say. Oh, that sucks. Angela's gonna be reeling from that one. Actually, both of them are, looks like. Um, oh, Golem's dead, at least, so no surprise murder attacks, and the birds are probably gonna heal themselves, so let's just try to kill this fucker. So... Mid heal on yourself and Catechus on yourself. I don't know if it's speed time between her and the birds, but at least she's alive. Oh, are you serious? God damn. Well, at least he just leveled up, I guess. For fuck's sakes. The birds decided not to heal themselves, apparently. Fucking. Uh. Oh, now! Nah. Assholes. Being smart and shit. Like, hey, we can kill this little fucking nerd. Oh, yeah, you're still ooped. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, good job. Good on you, Angus. 13 HP. Two whole skill points. Mm -mm -mm. I sure love wasting all those points in clubs. That's almost enough for me to want to just restart playing the game. But if I would do that, we'd probably, um. I'd probably do that off stream. Because I'm not going to subject everyone else to just this. I'm considering it, considering there's no, um, revocation of points at all. 
And I mean, I like the game enough to where, like, I'd play it again up to this point. It's just I've made poor decisions, and I would be doing only axes on Yangus. Probably still do boomerangs on Mavis, because the AoE just is really solid, and I'd probably still do bows, and I'd probably still do stabs. The, the biggest, the biggest uh, regret is Yangus for his points, because, you know... Well, let's use another fucking Chimera Wing. Wait, I have a I have a gold bracer I could give to a uh, the corpse of Angelo, I guess. Oh wait, no, you're you're wearing a fucking bunny tail. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Ignore me. I'm gonna have to freaking go buy some more Chimera Wings some point because like well what once again at the very least um yeah at least at the very least <laughs> freaking Angelo died for something he, he loved money <laughs> just wish it would stop being him for once because he has zing we can just have, just gamble with zing to freaking bring people back to li life otherwise for, for not 200 fucking gold 230 so it looks like it's like 10 times level plus 20 or something for your revives which if you keep dying over and over again can get a uh, really expensive but thankfully we're fighting stuff that get just literally shits out money so as long as we can get more kills than we get killed it'll be fine you know we only have one more shield we need to fucking buy anyway And then we'll try to make it to story places. Look, you're a nice gentleman, but I didn't really want to talk to you again. Not yet. <laughs> Just trying to think of like the nicest way to say I didn't mean to talk to you a second time. <laughs> That's kind of how I felt about fucking work this weekend because I was on I was on call. I had I had to be on call because everyone else already had plans and the dude that was supposed to be on call was sick so he couldn't be on call so I got a um, surprise made on well not really surprise but it, it, it happened without really me mentally preparing for it it's <laughs> just like oh hey guess what on call oh boy granted I was told it would be happening probably on I was told on Monday last week it'd probably be happening but that doesn't mean I was mentally prepared for it because my god, every single day, Saturday, Sunday, and even this morning, I got woke up at like 4, 4, 5 a.m., 6 a.m., just like, oh, hey, my password needs reset. It's like, okay, cool, but god damn, could you have like maybe called not at fucking 6 a.m.? <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm just been kind of just running on like low energy the entire weekend, which... It's not normally how I go with weekends, because, you know, it's the weekend, I can sleep as late as I want, but no, not, well, not necessarily. Ugh. Anyway, enough of that, let's try to find some gold golems. Uh, you're not gold or golems. Alright, Sizzle seems to do like about the. Oh, why are you so fast? Ugh. Whatever. I swear to fuck if you kill someone with that. Are you kidding me? I just brought you back! <laughs> I just brought him back to life. We literally lost money from that fight. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's... Uh. Well, we, I said we need to buy items, so let's fucking go buy items, I guess. Uh, I probably just woke my roommate up too. I didn't mean that, but like, uh. 
Uh, Angelo, honey, no. Thankful we have the money to bring him back, otherwise we'd be just like doing like three person grinding in like shithole places like this. Oh. Wait, didn't I already unlock these? Uh, no. alright. I could have swore I unlocked these. I mean, I'll take them. They'll, they'll, they'll cover Angelo's, like, death or whatever. Like, I'm almost 90% sure I opened these. Previously. I don't suppose they respawn. That would be weird for chests to do that in this game. I know there's blue chests in DQ9 that do. But... Well, that basically covers his resurrection anyway. And frankly, I'm actually pretty damn close to just being able to... Well, not now, because he fucking died, but... We're gonna buy like nine of these damn things, just throw them in our bag and hopefully not have to use them ever again. I just need gold golems. I I'm just having a really bad string a really a series of unfortunate events, if you will. Alright, bring him back. I know. Well, I mean, we didn't use this one just a, a five seconds ago, but we used a one, so they're probably like like on the sky, like on the freaking Discord chat. Oh, this fuck, this corpse is here again. This guy sucks. <laughs> Just shit talking this dead body. It's like, oh, what the fuck? Why are you again? Don't you have anything better to be doing? Like I don't know, killing gold golems. And then Angel comes back and like, don't remind me. <laughs> Fuck's sakes, that's. I'm gonna have to clip that. That was that's uh, obnoxious. Like we're gonna have to clip the whole like Angelo dying and then me going back to like try to fight again and then getting killed again like literally immediately. Because <laughs> in, in hindsight, that's very funny. But, but at the moment, I was pretty fucking frustrated. I will not lie to you. I was a little heated. Not too heated though, because if I get too heated, I'd be like not playing the game anymore, I promise you that, like, if I get really mad, I get to that point of, like, rage quitting. Like, where I have to just, like, get off the game and, like, go away. That's why I can't play MOBAs anymore, because, like, I'll be playing them and having a decent enough time, and then I'll get teammates that don't know what a mouse or keyboard are, and they'll just die. Or they'll be, you know, playing against, like, the cheesiest fucking strat known to man that everyone wants to do in freaking non-serious gameplay because hee hee ha ha, we want you to have a bad time. So that's just sad. Uh, like, I can't play games like that anymore. Like, I will literally blow a goddamn blood vessel. Well, that makes up for your fucking death, Angelo. I guess so did the, like, the boomerang and the gold I found, too, but I, I, it still doesn't feel good that that happened. It's funny, but that doesn't mean it feels good. You! Oh, God damn it! no, not like this! No! <laughs> you know what? Go ahead, try it again. Maybe they'll kill you too. <laughs> oh my god! I, uh... <laughs> oh, one of you ran away at least. Can I run now? 
Okay, well, you know what? As funny as that is, Angelo can actually freaking do zing and bring them back to life. <laughs> it's like a 50-50, but I seem to be getting... Oh, there he goes. I was gonna say, I'm, I'm getting pretty lucky with that coin flip, apparently. Oh, my fucking god. Now, oh, that's funny. That's like... <laughs> This game has a fucking sense of humor. It may not be to my benefit, but that's really fucking fun. <laughs> the game is probably saying, okay, it's time to move on, honey. You've done enough grinding here. Oh. <laughs> this could be a, a wipe battle, too. Like, these enemy combinations lately have just been bad. The game's like, oh, you're you're having fun. Let's change that. You're not having, you're not gonna have fun for much longer. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna have to just clip all of that shit. That's so good. Oh, come on, that's gonna ma leave a dead mage, mage or cleric for sure, cause... They have... Oh, come on, no, stop dancing, please! Oh, there's one! Let's see if they, let's see if they double down and kill both of my casters at the same time. That would be really funny, game. Like, really, really funny. Like, I would be laughing, living, laughing, and loving that time, you know? Like, it's just, that would just be the best. I would, I would have so much fun. Uh, this is a really, a, a, a really unfortunate series of events. You know, and if Jessica dies, whatever. I can bring her back to life. I, that, I, that sounds really bad. Just, like, she's expendable. Who cares? Ah! Well, the... The most dangerous thing in this battle is dead. <laughs> I thought they were gonna actually finish her off. Well, that's gonna finish her off for sure. Alistair. Yep, Alistair. I'm, I'm, I'm so. <laughs> so beyond fucking <laughs> done being in this place. <clears throat> All right, all right, Angelo. Come on. Fucking yeah, I've had pretty good luck with the zing, and they're all and then it's start, starting to catch up with me. Uh, I didn't mean to do those mid heals with you, but no, it, it's fine. We're just gonna. I'm I'm clearly out of I'm clearly flustered, as you can probably tell. If I don't know if it sounds like it, but I'm. Flustered. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <clears throat> Why is the helmet not there? Where I need it to be. There we go. It's now and it's... I, I don't have stuff in the other proper spots, either. <sighs> is my alchemy pot done yet? Please. How are you taking so long to cook some meth? Like Angus, we gotta cook. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Well, at least these aren't. These are like the least one of the, some of the least egregious monsters in this fucking area. Like they, they're they're annoying and they do a lot of damage, but otherwise, like you know, whatever. Like you can do a lot worse. Like those tap devils just. Deathing like almost my entire team. I'm st I'm gonna have to clip that. That's so good. Uh, let's see. An hour and a half is roughly when that stuff happens. Really? I wish I had that. 
I bet you the ones that like at that like level 25 or some shit. Well, I'm glad I'm healing you because you're just getting the shit kicked out of you by these boxes. Thankfully, they didn't care about using Hustle Dance. I really wish I could find like just just a few gold golems. That'd be nice. Not these like murderous like death freaking encounters like this like that's so so unfortunate okay well I asked for a gold golem here's a gold golem we are killing the little bastard first I need to drink my coffee. Thankfully, I decided to just waste its turn. Those two must have really similar speed stats. Like they have, it has to be pretty close. Well, there's a gold golem. That's like worth several fights worth of money. Seven sixty nine. Okay, okay, game. I forgive you for <laughs> for just bullying me lately. Cause th th they've been, it's been bullying me. I'm trying to get this fucking GP. Alright, that's probably enough gold. Let's get the fuck out of here. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of this place. <laughs> like, I am just sick of just getting statused by these little bastards. <laughs> just to make sure we got everything, we're going to buy a menu. Alright, this light shield is the last thing we need, so we're going to sell something. And get that for Angela, because that'll, that'll help his survivability pretty nicely. Why do you ha Oh, I probably gave you one. I was like, why do you have that? And the answer is, I probably gave it to you. Alright, we can sell one of these. Is that literally like... That's, that's literally like seven gold away. You know what? You can have, you can have a cheese. Would you like some cheese, my dude? Just get this goddamn shield. Hopefully that helps, because I spent a lot of time getting all this crap. Like, in a place where, like, it's easy getting this crap. I spent a lot of time getting this crap. I bet this place is great for money later when I can just kill all these enemies really easily, but for now, that was a struggle. Alright. I don't care if I die now, we're just trying to get to this freaking. I would run if I could, but I doubt they're gonna let me run. Because these things are annoying. <sighs> Jessica, don't bang the furries! Admittedly, it didn't do much less or more damage than the other fucking shit does, so... Rude ass. You know, we're actually we're we're gonna we're gonna zoom back to the, the hilltop place. And we are going to heal and save now that we've got all that fucking gear. Ugh. 
And I might just sail from somewhere else instead of there, because getting that ship is going to be a pain. <clears throat> We're finally visiting you for a not death related reason, miss. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to fucking clip those. Or highlight them or whatever. I don't I don't know what the difference really is and I don't know if I care. I don't know if there's a tangible difference between highlights and clips. I don't think either of them disappear off your channel. So and I'll probably put them in my Discord anyway. What you should What you should, okay there I just looked now and noticed that the bot the stream element bots are actually Doing what they're supposed to be doing. Is that my ship down there? That is my ship down there. This main question is how do I get. Okay, that's probably like the best place to sail from. In part because it's just the enemies here are weak and I can heal here from anywhere basically. I mean, they're not, like, they're not like super, super weak, but they're definitely weaker than what I was fighting just now. Yeah, this is a far cry from what we were dealing with. I think our defense is boosted so much higher that these things can't even, like, damage us. Well, at least the little rock bombs couldn't. Rock salt! I was hoping they had to give me a rock bomb shard. That's probably their, like, rare drop or whatever. Yeah, I'd much rather make this trip than the, uh... Than the hell ride to the shore. Like we were trying. Alright, so we need to head west and then south to the western, con the, to like the westernmost continent there. I'm assuming so. I guess we'll find out, because I have no idea. I'm not, I'm trying not to look up things for this game. If possible, like if there's something egregious that I, like, need to know, then maybe. But like... Poor fish. They do like little. They do look like little piggies. Oh no! One damage. Oh no! Nine damage. Yeah, those. As much suffering as I went through, those defense upgrades were well worth it. Like these enemies do not pose a single threat at all. Ooh, I mean that's not bad XP considering what. Granted, they don't. Those individuals didn't give much XP, but like they were easy to kill. So who cares? I think that's the metal. Yeah, that's the the metal castle. And that place down there in the middle there is the Neos. So now we gotta head. Which I went, I was like, oh, that this island looks interesting. And then, like, the first battle I got into at a gold goal, I'm like, oh, we gotta stay here. We gotta see if there's a town. And then I did, and then the rest was history. <laughs> so that's why I spent, like, the last million years fighting gold golems and their shitty friends. You know, I just do it, do it to them. Yeah, I'm 99% sure that, like, the enemies I was fighting were, like, like, two or three areas ahead of what I'm supposed to be at right now, because 
Hey. Granted, we can put out good damage numbers, but that doesn't mean we should have had to. Because <laughs> that was rough. With a capital R, and a capital U, and a capital F, and a capital F. Puppy girls, where are you at? Yeah, we're gonna avoid, um... Or... I see there's a little X on the map there, on this shore. Maybe that's where we're supposed to go. I don't know, and I don't care. It's close. We're gonna go there. No, if we're not gonna get destroyed by, like, beach creator creatures. Beach creatures! Beachers! <laughs> Alright. Oh, there's a chest. Let's open it and get a can of box, or like a mimic or something. Alright, what do we have? <laughs> Puppet players, hello! Well, standard swoosh sizzle combo, I guess. Okay, well, that's not too bad. These seem... These enemies are manageable. Wow, they're pretty resistant to swoosh. <clears throat> this is probably... This is almost certainly the place where we're supposed to be at now. Oh, uh, well. Get fucked, I guess. The GP here is better than some other places we've been, so it's not bad. Alright. Either gonna be... Loot. Ooh. Wait, that one wasn't locked? Fine. Uh, well, I guess Angelo did take a little bit of damage. Not much, but might as well heal it up. Especially with the casters, their, their stuff is just a Their HP is just a lot worse. I guess we're gonna see if we can, um,. Navigate this area. Frogmen! Oh no! Oh, oh yeah, they did a little thing when you hit them. They alternate between sides. <laughs> it's kind of silly. I love it. I love that about them. Oh, these things are a little chunky. And they hit a lot harder when they're, uh... Wait, do these things attack twice? Maybe they, get, maybe they get to attack again when the, uh... the other side comes out. I don't know. Interesting. A little problematic. Especially since these things probably can do like fire attacks or whatever. But they're all dead, so it's fine. <clears throat> well, that was my second encounter here, it was just a pretty chunky one. I don't really know where here is, I'm just kind of here. But yeah, that's fine, I'm just kind of getting lost and uh, finding... Playing the dragon, but I have a feeling this is a dead end. I probably shouldn't have fight this, but we're probably going to. Oh god, tap doubles up here too. Well, I guess they just can't escape from these guys. <laughs> Wait. How did I outrun those with everyone in my party, including Yangus of all people? Algae! <laughs> That's a great name, by the way.
I was thinking you might be weak to fire since you're like a plan looking dude. That's not gonna do much for you because we can just do a lot of damage now. Because your defense got lowered and Frizzle does a lot. That mid heal's useless. You do have a lot of HP, but yeah, it's, it's not going to be enough. Copper monster coin. Sweet. Oh, I hope I'm not going to regret that 3 HP I didn't heal. I have a feeling this place isn't anything. It's just like a beach, which I mean I guess that's fine, but it's just kind of annoying that there's like nothing here. I guess algae was here, but Ooh, Skull Riders. First time seeing these guys in this game. Oh, you're fast. That's a, that's not fun. Oh, come on. Well, there goes damage for this turn. It's basically fucking nothing. I mean, not nothing, but like, functionally is a lot lower than what it could have been. These little fuckers are fast. Don't like that. Yeah, we're gonna just leave after this fight, because I don't think there's anything here worth my time. I mean, that was good XP, but I can get that anywhere else. Oh, great, an herb, thanks. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. We'll go back and heal at this hilltop hut, and then we're gonna try to... get somewhere else on our boat. Because apparently that was not the right place to try getting to. But this place is easy to get back to the boat too, so we'll, we'll be doing this place. I'm not on TikTok because I don't really care, but my roommate is. There's been like this weird ass like trend going around called like doubloons where like it's I don't know how to explain other than it's just fucking weird and they all like use the same weird like song to go with like their little posts about selling and buying stuff and like the little innkeeper guy up there reminded me of that and I'm like oh god I have to think about that again now don't I I can't remember if I checked my alchemy pot or not. Well, there's 72 more gold, I guess.
Alright, so that, that sandy shore there was uh, not where we needed to go. Okay, well, there's a bunch of these little eyeball dudes. Let's uh, kill them. Ugh, gross. There's like multiple groups of them all together. I hate, I hate that. That makes stuff like Bang and Boomerangs even more useful because they don't discriminate against like groups. They just hit everyone. Oh, you're 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 a dodgy little fuck, aren't you? Not anymore. You're not. Not bad XP for the effort put in. Like, like they didn't, they didn't put do much damage. <clears throat> I feel like this might have been one of the first DQs to have like actual orchestral kind of like music in it like this. I think DQ7 on PlayStation probably still had kind of the older style of music, which is still fine. I like both. It's just, uh, you know, definitely a difference. Well, since I guess Sizzle does a lot of damage to these water enemies, let's try, uh, well, Frizzle did to that, that eel. Let's try some Sizzle, I guess. All right, well, that, whatever. He's thinking about a pretty high dodge rate, which is annoying. Which means you have to hit him with magic, because you can't really dodge magic unless you're just immune to it. Like Metal Slimes, they're immune to, like, everything. Well, I guess we gotta sail past the coast and try to get that, that little li inland lake there. It's my best guess. That that or we sail all the way around, which I don't really want to do. Okay, give me this. I was looking at Discord real quick, and I, one of my, one of my, I'm in one of my friends' servers that doesn't go lives and stuff, and I'm part of that. And like the the screenshot I picked for the stream, it's got two gold golems, and it, and like my my beans like eye is like just kind of like half open, so it's just like white, <laughs> which is just kind of creepy. And I like that; it's funny. It's very fitting. Yeah, I was just checking my Discord to make sure I wasn't like missing something. Oh, okay. These are like the lower level squids. These are not like the orange and yellow or blue fuckers that like just beat, clap me out. These things probably still suck, but they're probably not quite as bad. They're still gonna, yeah, like they're still gonna be bad. Yep, calamari kid, nice job. Well, most of the children are dead. I might be over preparing for these king squids, but I can imagine they can attack like twice or something. Or maybe they're just not dangerous. Okay, no, they can definitely attack twice. Maybe. It seemed like one of the only one of them did. Which is weird. They are thick. How did you move before Hero did? I 
He's also a smaller version of the one of the bosses we fought earlier, like the big ass squid on the ship when we first got the ship. There's just little versions of that. And DQ11 also has a big ass like squid boss for like the spectacle. Ooh, level up. Wait, didn't you? I think Mama's already leveled up once during this stream, so hey. More skills. Yeah, Angel and Jessica are a little behind. What is this? Is this anything? I'm probably gonna regret coming over here because this seems like a uh, a trap. See, like that's way faster to make these than it is to make that one thing. Like, I don't care if it like balances out towards about equal time to make. Like, making two of these at like the same time as making like one and a half of the other is probably better make two of these because herbs are just herbs are just cheap and sometimes let me just give them to you anyway and we're mostly past the point where we need to use herbs for anything okay I wasn't sure if there's anything over there so I was just kind of curious a king kelp apparently well or should I, or should I, well, not, well, but should I say kelp? <laughs> Alright, that wasn't very, uh, threatening. Kind of an odd single spawn enemy. To be, to be honest. Okay, that looks like somewhere we can land. Sea Angels. Okay, that's a, that's a really good name. I like that. So far, they seem pretty unthreatening. Oh. I mean, I think they're already faster than us anyway, so who cares? What are they gonna do? Bleed on me? <laughs> oh. That's what they're gonna do. Well, that's annoying, but not like really a problem. They're pretty easy to kill anyway, so it doesn't really matter if they bring themselves back to life. I'll just kill them again. If anything, that might give me even more XP. That's a lot. That's a pretty big chunk of XP from one battle, gotta say. Alright, I think we found somewhere to actually go now. Let's try to get our bearings a little bit. Well, there's a moo cow, so that must be more in the right place, right? Sure. Alright, what do we got? Oh god, more bells. <laughs> get a feel for what these guys do. Oh, more bells. That's a lot of bells. Oh, that's annoying. 
That's annoying. <laughs> That's cute. What? What does that mean? Bell, what, what, what in the bell does that mean? They're like level 5? <laughs> what does that even mean in, in the context of anything? Ow. That's annoying. You don't even... Oh. That's probably what that means. Oh, whatever. Bye. <laughs> That's really cute, but those are annoying. They don't really give anything either, so... Hopefully we don't see too many more of them. That means we're probably gonna see only those while we wander around, because I don't know where I'm going either, so we're just kinda... Doing a little walkabout. And I see something down there, so maybe we should head towards that first. I don't really know. But I have a place to be able to zoom over here too would be amazing. Ah. Oh hey, the scorpion enemies. You don't usually see, you don't see them too often in drawing quests anymore. They're from like the first one. Well, it's good to see these fucking condors are here too, I guess. It's like some of these annoying enemies from the Neos place are just kind of mixed in with other enemies around here. Well, good, you're- The scorpion's defending, the bird just wasted its turn healing 40 HP. I think this thing's just defending a bunch. It's not really doing anything worthwhile, so thanks, I guess. Ooh, what you got? An iron nail? Well, I guess we have more than one of those now. Yeah, for now I don't have any other leads other than, well, I see a road up there, but we're gonna go down this way first, because I saw a little cabin, which means it's probably like one of like those like that hilltop hut place I was, I've been going to. It's probably like that. Magic marionettes! Which means these things are probably going to be doing group spells, because, I mean, with a name like that, how can you, how are you not doing group magic? Um, alright, bye, I guess. No idea why they'd be running away. I don't think I'm that high a level. Well, I said at the very least, she's probably the one person that's not as impactful on to lose an MP to because she has a lot of MP by nature of being a staff user. Still weird that one ran away. Well, maybe that's why they get a decent amount of XP. Two iron nail drops in a row from enemies. Interesting. Alright. I'm constantly just checking this map because I don't want to go the wrong way. But then again, there's not really a wrong way when you're not really going to a set place. You're just kind of going, so I mean... It's kind of a... I want to say going down there might be worth my while, but I could also go upwards, it looks like. Maybe. We'll try going this way first, and if we can't, we'll go the other way. Gargoyles. Well, these are the next level up for the Hawkmen, so they're probably a little more dangerous. One of these threads are immune to swoosh at this point. Oh wow, they actually do, they do fairly decent, despite those two being pretty heavily armored, so I'm glad I got the armor, because otherwise these guys would be hitting pretty hard. I mean, that's not the worst. That's more damage than he'd be doing otherwise, anyway, so...
I think our aqua pod just finished too, so we'll go grab that and go scoop out some more money. More money! I like money! <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if, like, uh, if, like, a uh, skill point revocation or whatever, or something they added in the 3DS, uh, port. Because that's, if that's something that isn't in this game, that's, uh, rather unfortunate, because, uh, DQ9 didn't have that, but you could get so many skill points from just all the vocations that you could just switch to that it didn't matter, like, whatsoever. Unless you really did something really fucked up with your skill points. Like something horribly fucked up. Oh, like these fuckers. They're all gonna attack her, aren't they? Yep, <laughs> every single, all, all of them are. They really just love attacking Jessica, it seems like. Ow. I don't know if that, that doesn't seem like it's affected by uh, defense boosts. There's an awful lot of attacks in this game so far that seem like defense boosting just doesn't do anything about them. Alright, shit ass bird. Your time is nigh. Well, the XP here is better than over at the Neos place. The battles aren't really much... are too much better, but they are not as bad so far. Oh, I see a little sign. Oh, these fucking bells. Few of them are dead. Bell chomp. Isn't that so funny, Mr. Bell? Nice, level up for Jessica.
Well, a fairly unsatisfying level up. I mean, good wisdom, I guess, but like. Yeah. Alright, what does this sign say? Desert area. Heavy monster activity. Enter at own risk. Well. I want, mostly just want to get to fly to this area. If we don't get destroyed by monsters here, because it does seem like they warned me. Oh, I mean, that's a lot of them, for sure. I mean, ooh, well that's, that kind of stung. But overall, that was a pretty tame battle. A lot of XP, though. Jeez. Huh, maybe this is a place to level up other than, uh... I don't know. Maybe that was just a very lucky first battle, and this is just a really shitty place. But this seems like a good fly spot. As long as it, as long as, oh, he's at, he's in charge. Fancy coming all the way out here to a dreary old dust bowl like this. How about I give you a tip to make it all worthwhile? There's this weapon called a sandstorm spear that kicks up a cloud of dust and blinds your enemy. Apparently you can make it by mixing a partisan spear and something really dry like sand. Oh, well, thank you. Anything, oh, there's like an actual innkeeper here. Oh, you're in luck. Oh, that's actually pretty reasonable considering how far away we are. I guess my main question is, can we zoom here? Because if so, that will be a good way to get back to this part of the world. Just like you. No, oh, oh, I had to talk to... The, the priest guy here. So we're gonna save. Now that we kind of made our way out here. It's unfortunate we didn't really have any weapon upgrades at Neos. It was all armor upgrades, but maybe this, maybe another time we find we'll actually have some weapon upgrades, because we've been using the same ones for a, a minute, you could say. Well, it's, this place is called Desert Chapel, so maybe we can just fly to it. Or zoom, rather. You know, I mean, it's kind of the same concept. It's just our, it's just our HM user <laughs> is... almost called him Zelos. Yeah, we, we totally can come here. Perfect. Um, well, let's, um... Let's leave. And let's go to the other place now, I guess. Not sure which one I'm supposed to go to. Probably not this one yet. Dancing Flo, well, they're, they're, their name's very accurate, I suppose. I wonder if Crackle does anything to them. Eh. Ow. That's annoying. So they have flame breath and fire and just fire. He 
these can't, these ones too can't be that much more. Yeah, it's like they can't have much more HP than what they have. I mean, for three enemies, that's pretty good XP. It does seem like a good place to get XP, but maybe not money. Unless gold golems live here too, which I mean, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they do. Let's actually press uh. Not that one. Gordon Bennett. That weren't easy, eh? But now look at us. With our very own ship and everything. Sweet as a nut. A dual Megas ain't got nowhere to hide now. Wherever it runs to, we'll track him down. Alright. Wrong, wrong button. I meant this one. So maybe we can look at uh, defeat a monster list and see, uh, Like, where gold golems live, maybe. There's nothing quite like the feeling of firing yourself up and letting rip with a good wallop. You should try it. Don't be afraid of a little tension. I have not used tension so far at all. Uh, let's see. Material? I'm guessing that's where Gold Golem would be. Maybe? Or maybe they're not... Oh yeah, they're right here. Argonia! Are we gonna find any Argonians here? Golden creatures that have taken it upon themselves to protect the Holy Island Neos and the Goddess Statue erected there. Yep, sure, cool. Yeah, whatever. Oh, we're gonna go try to find that, um... The other place that's up to the west. Northwest. So glimmy, so gold, wow. Hello, Necky. So Necky, such wow. Oh, our pot's done. Such Necky, much wow. Yangus, we have to cook. Yeah, for the first, like, half of this, like, first chunk of the stream, we were fighting gold golems and their, uh, associates, and it was not much fun, because their associates are obnoxious, and this bird is one of them. Like, like, gold golem and associates are not fun to deal with. Yeah, those burbs especially, they seem to really enjoy attacking Jessica every all the time. She's got like the lowest HP and the lowest defense, so that might be why. Oh, that was a waste of MP. Oh, bird's dead. Oh, <laughs> okay, Jessica. I wasn't expecting that to actually kill, but, you know. Skullator drops a treasure chest. A, a ban- a, <laughs> I read that as banana at first, because I'm stupid. <laughs> Whoa, banana! I like bananas! I mean, bananas are like... B tier, funny enough, as it is. They're okay. I don't get a lot of, um... Enjoyment out of them, but they're okay. Like, a, a banana is really good every once in a while, but if it's more than every once in a while, it's kinda... Wears down on you. A lot of these dumbbells are... Annoying. Yeah, exactly, like, you add just a little banana, it's nothing but banana. So many dumbbells!
Oh, here comes more fucking bells. They just really like just bringing more friends to the battle. Pro I probably should use the accelerator. <laughs> oh, great. I guess they get to level up. I don't know what that even means. But most of them are dead now. Okay, there's one left. Enjoy being level five while it lasts or something. I don't I still don't I don't understand. Should have been level ten, asshole. <laughs> that did not feel like it was worth our time. Cause there are just so many of them for such little like reward. All right, so I need to take a, the next left I can. Uh, I, as, I, as I immediately turn right. <laughs> I'm just kind of stumbling around this new area I was able to sail to. Uh, let's make sure we're healed up too. Frogmen! It's the Frogmen! Yeah, I definitely agree about the bananas and smoothies thing, like, it just overpowers almost anything you put in it. Oh wow, that's a really good level up for Angela, that's a lot of HP. Whack, ooh, alright. Alright, dude. That's a AoE uh, death spell. Oh, you missed one of like, the most like fucked up funny things ever earlier. Like, we're, we're, we're trying to grind out these gold golems for, for, for money, because, you know, they get, drop a lot of money. And we had this battle where, like, Angelo got, like, killed, and he's the one that has a revive spell, so we had to, like, leave and, like, go revive him somewhere else and then come back. And then the, the first battle we get back, uh, these little t dancing dudes, like, something called Death Dance, and it, it, it missed everyone but him, so he died immediately. So we had to leave again, <laughs> and then come back, and then like I think like the bat like battle right after that, they did death dance again, and everyone but Angelo died. So I was just I was a little livid. <laughs> the game was testing my testing my patience. Oh berserkers! These guys are just having a good time. Probably want to cut my head off and eat it. Still tasted like nothing but banana, even though you like overdosed on cinnamon. Too much tree bark. Well, these little hoppy dudes don't seem too bad. The XP here is pretty decent compared to uh, other places I've been, including the place where I was trying to grind out money because then these there don't give much XP and they don't give much gold either, except for the gold golems which give like 700 something a battle. Uh, so it was rough going, we didn't get much much level ups there, we're just trying to grind out some gear that was for sale at, that, at the store, at, at that place. Worst thing is that like that island place is like it's called like the Holy Island of Neos, but there's not a church there, so it's like, is it really all that holy if you can't like go to church? I guess I don't know. That was just a weird place. Wow. 
Wow, they didn't even stand a ch single chance. I like battles like that, where, like, they're not too hard, but they're still give you something of worthwhileness. Okay, um... Magic Marionettes! Bang! Wait, did Angela already go or is he moving last? Why are you moving last? Uh, red, red twitchy man, red, twitchy red man. Which, I'm, gu I'm guessing the little uh, marionette dudes, what you were talking about there. Yeah, they're a little twitchy. Okay, we're not quite to the place yet. It's probably like up and around or something. Oh, pot's done. <laughs> Let's grab our delicious, our delicious meth. It's just a bunch of more. Uh, it just turns from some leaves to a bunch of leaves. It really is magic, cause like they just produce a, like a paper wrapping out of nowhere. Must be part of the magical process. It just wraps it in some freaking like gift wrap. <laughs> Metal scor- oh, iron scorpions. They, I mean, technically they still are metal scorpions, but... They mostly defend, so I don't really care. Like, they're not a, really much of a threat. They just kind of defend themselves. Those guys are more of a threat. I'm guessing we're gonna go this way now. I'm just kind of wandering around. No idea if I'm going the right way or if there is a right way to be going. Because I'm not using a walkthrough unless I really am like super too lost to like find my way. The, the red men are coming for us. These red men. The puppet pals. I mean, they can come for me. They seem to get pretty good XP and they're not really that dangerous. Ooh, 12 HP. Okay. Three skill points. Alright, well, more axes. Because I made the, a boo boo. He comes an iron woodsman. Learn, he learned hatchet man already? Uh, Alright. 
I was expecting that a lot later than what he just got it at, because that's the uh, all or nothing crit move. Which means if we find a metal slime, we have a feasible chance of maybe actually killing it now. I didn't say good, I just meant like feasible. Alright, we need to like head a different way, I guess, to try to get to this. Uh... I'm, I'm trying, I don't know if that's a town or if that's like a, uh, just a little cabin. I don't know if I can even get to it, but these little uh, marionette dudes are pretty good XP either way, so I don't know if I care. Oh, well, there goes the rest of the Ingus's MP. <laughs> or did you think they were just little men? No, these are puppet, like marionettes, like the art artist kind of deal. Except evil! Evil puppets. Okay, Sizz does just so much damage to these guys. It costs less MP, so... We'll just use Sizz next time. Well, I'm not really seeing another way to get up. So I'm guessing we might not be able to get to this cabin place from here. Unless there's like a mountain path I miss, which it's possible. There's a lot of these in this area. It is annoying how they're we're losing MP from those, but it's fine. He is <laughs> Angus doesn't have any more MP to lose. He's all out because I've been using him to heal between fights. Yeah, they give a lot of a lot of XP for how hard it is to kill them, so. Yeah, I'm guessing there's uh, nothing up here, or at least nothing we can get to from this side. Alright, well we're gonna we're gonna zoom back to the uh, new place we unlocked that we can that can uh, go to the inn at. It's in this desert. This stuff in the desert gives a lot gives more XP than here. I don't think we have to go to the desert yet, but we got this we got this fly point at the very least. Oh, it has an item shop too. Holy shit! I didn't I didn't even see the item shop here. Let's see what else. A dream blade. Well, even though no, neither of my dudes are into swords, that's like a better weapon than would either have power-wise, but... And that's including all the, the the bonuses from like boomerangs and shit that they already get. Now, let's buy some more herbs. We've been, we've been using them up while we're just traveling around crafting, crafting more of those things. So we'll just buy some more, and if necessary we can use them to heal in a pinch if we don't have MP somewhere. Okay, and this inn is like 60 gold, which, that means it's like give more than that for one battle, so it's fine. Not a big deal. 
It's back at the other place we're at, the Neo's place, where if you get a gold golem fight, that's great if you need to heal there, because it's like 200 gold a freaking uh, freaking night. I'm guessing we need to head up towards like the middle of the continent instead of uh, where I am now because there's just nothing here other than en enemies that give a decent amount of XP. Like these fire dudes, they're literally on fire. I like how goofy these enemies are. They're just hopping around having a good time. Like even like that fight gives a lot more XP than some of the other places we've been to, so like just if I really want to just knuckle down and grind on non-metal slime enemies, it's probably a good place to do it for now. At this point in the game. Oh, these fucking bells. I would try running away from them, but that seems like that would just make things worse, so we're gonna not do that. No particular attack can, that can slay an enemy with a single blow. If it connects. Okay, I wasn't sure if that. Oh, I, mean, I guess we can show it off or try to. These, these enemies aren't terribly high stakes. We also have him do thwack instead. Maybe we'll just get lucky and kill a bunch of them. Hey, we got... Holy shit, alright. That was amazing. That didn't seem very likely, but you know what? I'm guessing we still got full XP from them. Maybe. That was a pretty lucky thwack, I'll say. Usually it's not nowhere near, nowhere near as accurate. I'll take that. I was expecting a lot. I would have been happy if one of them died, but we got like three or four. And we're just making, we're just cooking up more, more, more slightly better herbs. Strictly to sell at this point, because, like, like, the only person I would be using would be a Genghis, because he only has a normal heal spell, but Hero has mid heal, Angelo has mid heal, and Jessica has Catechus, which is basically mid heal, so. Like, the initial goal is, like, to just, uh,. Make a bunch of good items for people to use in battle, but with the way the alchemy pot works in this game, it takes a while. You can only make one at a time, so it's just kind of very bad at doing that. Well, I guess next time we get into battle with those bells, I'll just try thwack again, because it seemed to work pretty well. It worked well on the bell. Oh, God, it's a lot of Hades condors. These are like... There's three separate groups of two. What in the shit? That's obnoxious. Well, I guess you're using Kabuff, because, um... Yeah. I'm feeling they're all gonna pile on Jessica, she's gonna die. Immediately. 
Oh, there's one. Okay, that one's healing itself, so maybe Jessica won't die immediately. Okay, that one's healing itself too. That one's also healing itself. I feel like these things are putting their inputs after our our stuff happens. It feels like it, because they're just healing themselves all that damage we did to them. It feels a little cheap, gotta say. And none of them are dead. <laughs> God damn it. Um. You know, we're gonna specifically just buff Jessica at this point, because... Alright, one of them didn't heal itself, so it's dead. Alright, so that one's healing itself again. Oh, well, that one just dodged. Oh, would you look at that? Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god, stop! This battle sucks, and the worst part is, like, Swoosh I don't think affects these at all. And since they're all split up, Thwack wouldn't really be very effective either, so this is just kind of like a, a bad situation. Alright, that's one less bird to deal with. Oh, would you look at that? They're all attacking Jessica. Alright, that's one less bird. Jesus Christ, this is a slog. <laughs> Alright, she's alive. See, if, if Angelo's swoosh did anything to these things, it wouldn't be so bad, but it does, it does, it does not. It doesn't affect them. At least I don't think it does. We're slowly but surely killing them off. When they don't ugh, all mid heal, god damn it. Stop fucking healing. Not fun. Go away. <laughs> Fuck's sakes, that's a lot of birds. A lot of XP, but I think I'd rather get that XP from literally anywhere else than just a million shitty birds. A million Hattos just flying around screaming and healing themselves and all piling on one character. Like, they literally were just piling on Jessica. They always do. I think it's because their stats are the lowest and they're just programmed that way, which is just annoying. No, fuck you, they probably- A later form of them probably does have a raising spell, like revive or some shit. <laughs> it's bad enough that they have mid-heal. <laughs> they don't need it, any more help. <laughs> Excuse me. The, the, the damage up that these enemies do is it's fairly decent, but it's still less than some of the enemies on uh, the Neo Island where we were grinding out the money at because some of those enemies had like AOEs that you couldn't like reduce damage from and did like 60 damage to everyone including the casters so if two of them decided they just wanted to do that, your casters are basically just fucking dead, which is just awful. Frogman! But for Frogman!
No, oh, they're split up. That's fucking obnoxious. Well, guess we're doing this then. These little frog dudes are a lot less dangerous when they're in their, like, not fucked up, like, Joker-fied form. Like, when they're just sitting there like that, having a good time, they're not too scary, but when they flip around, they can start, like, doing, like, spewing fire and shit. Like, and they have a nasty little face on the back, too. Thankfully, they didn't really get to show off anything too dangerous this time. I, for one, am a fan of them not being dangerous. Sure, it's interesting having to actually engage with game mechanics like healing and like using buffs, but come on now. <laughs> All right. All right, we're finally heading t towards possibly a place where we're supposed to be going. Maybe. I have no idea. We're just kind of going. Oh, hello. That's the most important part of the stream. What are you? <laughs> the color. Oh, they're not. Their arms aren't even covering their gooch. It's just they got like a big nipple too. That's not so macho. <laughs> what are you? I've never seen this design, monster design, let alone this in this game. Are they like samurai or something? Hard to say. Oh, let's see what they let's see what they can do, I guess. Oh the heals the Kira Slime's dead. Well, apparently it, what they can do is just a lot of damage with one swing. Works for me. They're not that that's not too dangerous at least. Scorpions live up here too. All right, well that's fine. They're not hard. They're not very difficult to fight. They can. They can. Oh, I'm surprised I haven't seen them do that until now because that makes them a little. Harder to, harder to, a little harder to kill, but not by enough to really make it worth our time to do much different. As you guys can see, the one in the middle has literally just been blocking the entire battle. I mean, the whole thing's like made of iron, so I guess that makes sense. Okay, can, okay, we can go downhill, and it looks like there's like a little house or something here. Oh, our, our alchemy pot. I guess that's a I guess that's a major advantage to playing the 3DS version over this is that this version is that Aqua Pot stuff is instant instead of like taking like a time limit, which is which I see as something they learned from this game. They they probably like saw that oh hey people are saying they don't ha like having to wait for the Aqua Pot to make a mediocre healing item. 
Because a nine, it's instant, and you can make multiples too. Like, you can make like nine strong medicines at a time if you have the stuff for it. What do we have here? Oh, there's enemies! <laughs> there's just scorpions here. Stand next to these dudes. They're all just hanging out, and there's like these big ass scorpions just kind of milling around. I want to see if Hatchet Man works the same way as it does in, uh, in uh, DQ9. Oh, never mind. I guess we just don't get the chance to see it because neither of them are defended this time. Oh boy, another iron nail. There's a, this blind. There's this blind old man who lives in the forest to the west of here. I was just there the other day trying to make a sale. I was wondering to myself if he might be get, get shortchanged when he buys things. Well, with not being able to see and all. Not all traders are as good and honest as me, like, you know. I always very careful to be fair like that. Anyway, just as I was musing away, he pecked up and said he had never once been shortchanged. Well, that took me aback. I can tell you, it's like he read my mind or something. Talk about a coincidence. Oh, this is a store, huh? All right. Well, you have the same. You have a similar. Ooh. Oh, don't do this to me, game. I just spent a ton of. But those would be super good to have. Oh God. God damn it! You're gonna make me grind for money again, aren't you, game? Ugh, not like this. Is this like a an inn or something? Can I like come in here and like? Yeah, the game's like, oh, hey, you want this, right? It's like, oh, please. So, do I, can I sleep here, or what's up? I, I bought in a load, I bought in a load of snakeskin whips by mistake a while back. Couldn't sell all of them, of course. I worked my brain trying to figure out a way to get rid of them. And then I stumbled on an alchemy recipe to turn them into dragon tail whips. Can't tell you what it is, mine. It's supposed to give you a hint. They're called dragon tails, so they're obviously made from parts of a dragon. Two parts to be precise. A dragon item and a dragon item. Thanks. That's real descriptive. I don't suppose I can just fly back to this place either, can I? Probably not. There's not like an inn or a church or something here. Unless this guy lets us sleep. Ah, we're in Ar we're gonna be going to Argonia. Nice nipple, dude. Uh, can, we, can we zoom back to this place? Oh shit! Didn't mean that. Well, hopefully, hopefully we can, because otherwise that's gonna be a long way back. I, I accidentally decided to go back to like the first fucking place we could freaking uh, zoom to. <laughs> no, it, we can't. So we'll we'll go back to the desert chapel and. Do the walk of shame back up there. Uh Christ. Well. Guess while we're here, we'll see if we can uh, how much how close we are to level ups and all that jazz. Cause we're getting a lot we're getting a good amount of XP from all these enemies, even those annoying fucking birds. Whom I'm not I've now convinced that they literally only attack Jessica so if we can save up enough money by the time we get back up there to that place we'll buy her one of those uh, robes like 100% matter of fact we probably could have afforded to buy buy one if we sold her armor and then sold like some herbs or something all right Okay, is Benediction a curse? Oh, that's curse. Is Purification poison? That's... It's weird that they offer you can pay the church to cure your poison and your curses. <laughs> when do you literally have spells to do that? I, they've always done that in Dragon Quests. I think it might be just a carryover from like the very first one where you, you had very little resources most of the time. Where you would like, like, like you couldn't always buy antidotes from places. I think maybe even like in the first like town. I don't know. It's been a minute since I played the first Dragon Quest, but they tend to be very stubbornly faithful to stuff from like billions of years ago in the, in this series. 
I mean, considering the fact that uh, DQ11 is still turn-based, as opposed to, like, literally, like, Final Fantasy just gave up on turn-based combat in general. And, I mean, Tales of never was turn-based, so I guess you can't really say that for them, but, like, yeah, Final Fantasy, like, just gave up on that shit, like, years ago. Yep, Dragon Quest is like, you know, no, fuck you, turn-based. Fuck it. It's like, fuck it, wait your turn. <laughs> Oh, why are there muddy hands here? That's suspicious. These are a much easier enemy than should be here. I, qu I, know, I quite like turn-based. I don't care if it's like old-fashioned. It's just... It's simple, it's easy to understand, and then, I mean... It can be about as engaging as they make it to be. Uh, I was wondering if these guys would call something... difficult, but these guys are just kind of... These guys are really weak. Why are they here? Like... Like, there, Jessica can finish them off with her staff weak. I mean, for the effort put in, they weren't. Bad XP. You know, I, I think I'm liable to believe you, but they literally can't do any damage to me at this point. <laughs> so I don't know, like, if that's a... Uh. Oh, you know, I, I said if I found them again, we would try the, uh... Just do thwack and, and see how many die. I don't think lowering their defense has any impact on that, but I'm just lowering their defense in case Slack doesn't really do too many. Oh, that's... You know what? That... Uh, I'm not really that upset about that. We killed two of them. For basically nothing. And they basically replaced them anyway. <laughs> They're basically like, you know what, fuck you. It's like, you can cast your death spell. Wait, how many attacks did they just fucking get? That seemed like a lot. Alright, now we're gonna swoosh, because as funny as that was, like... They're just gonna hang lingering around now. Alright, well... <laughs> That was amusing, at least. Still not worth our time. These get those don't get very much XP per uh, enemy, and they're just a lot of them, and they're kind of annoying. And when they do their level up thing, I think they start casting better spells, which is obnoxious to say the least. I might just, oh, never mind, they suddenly attack. Oh, they're gonna call more, and they're gonna do the level up jingle, aren't they? Sweet Jesus, that's a lot of bells. How many more be how many bells can there be? Well, that's unfortunate. Cause now they just, they don't get a turn next turn. Th this could go bad very quickly. Cause they're cursed and they can't move. Oh, yep, there it is. I don't know what that means. Wait, why did only one of them move? I'm very confused what just happened. Did like the other ones just kind of like they just got bored? I don't you know what you know what whatever. I'm not gonna ask, I'm just gonna <coughs> try to blast some of them with ice and
Yeah, they increased in level and they just got really difficult to... Uh, not kill, but just like they do two more damage. Alright, well that was fucking annoying. Still not good XP. <laughs> Ooh, level up though. Good enough XP, I guess. Uh, 13 HP is pretty good. Are you ever gonna learn more spells, dude? Well, I guess we could put in s swords? I mean, I'd like that, but if sword. We already have Metal Slash, so I don't know if we really need more swords. So I guess we'll start putting stuff in Courage. Because this game has, like, level caps of, like, skills where, like, you, like certain levels you can only have certain skills leveled up to. It's probably meant to, like, make it where you can't get, like, super overpowered, which is not fun. Like, that's, like, an anti-fun mechanic. Why would you do that? We are legions, right? 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 It's literally just them. It's like, it's like, we, we are one, we are many. <laughs> we are Bell. Think outside the bun. <laughs> wrong, wrong one. Well, by the time we get back up there, we will have enough money to buy at least one of those cloaks of evasion. Trevil! They're truly Trevil! Really? Are you- That's annoying. Well, at least one of them is basically dead anyway, so it, we can just kind of focus it down. It would have been really funny, but just a, a little annoying if they decided to do the Yggdrasil Leaf again. Like, just like taking turns and reviving each other. Well, I hadn't seen those enemies yet, so it's at least interesting. Uh, right. Well, heroes with like 6 HP, but I don't think I care about 6 HP. Famous last words. I I can count on my, I can count more on my hand. Uh, I can count more times on, on my hands. How many times like Angela or Jessica have like survived on like 2 HP during like a, a fight with like some enemies? I'm just like, ooh, that was close. So hopefully, I do not regret my words. We're just cooking up a whole bunch of these, uh, these strong medicines here. They each sell for like 88 a piece, so it's just kind of like passive money gain. While we're just running around clobbering enemies anyway. Uh, okay. This way. Oh! Jumping jackals! Furries! More furries! There's so many furries in this game! Uh, we're gonna try killing the trees because they can revive, which is annoying. Because, like, if we were to kill the little little furry dudes, the trees might just bring them back to life anyway, which would just be a waste of time. More heals! You get a heal! You get a heal! You get a heal! Everyone gets a heal! <laughs> F 
frogmen. We are the frogmen. Well, all right. Kind of like a weird revolving door effect there with the frogs. They seem to dodge a lot, so... Spells are advised because you can't really dodge spells in Dragon Quests usually. You can uh, you can resist or be immune to them, but you can't really dodge them most of the time. Oh hello. We can't forget to say hi to the dog. Wolf thing. Oh boy. I wish Swoosh hit all enemies instead of just like a few. Oh boy. That's annoying. Whatever. Not the end of the world, really. Yeah, they didn't have much HP left in them any anyhow. Well, it's not much money, but at least most of these battles have given us at least like a hundred or so uh, gold apiece. I think there's like some sort of like big castle on the mountain that over in the, off in the distance. It's probably like a the dungeon or something. Oh boy, separate groups of skull riders. I love it when they do that. Yeah, at that point we're just gonna do a, a kabuff and try to reduce the damage. God damn it. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Well, Mavis lost their fucking turn. Because of course they did. Really? You're, gonna, you're just gonna do that again? I have a feeling, I don't know, it's probably just random, but it felt pretty t pretty targeted. So if she gets hit by another flame shot, she's just dead. Why is she moving like after people with higher agility? That's so annoying. The turn, the turn order stuff in this game is wonky, to say the least.
Alright, well, we can at least get her the freaking new uh, robe. Cloak of Evasion. Rather. Another 650 from that, too, huh? Turtle Shell and Kuka Evasion are classic Dragon Quest uh, armors. Like they've been in the series for like at least, since at least the f the third game. I don't know if they've been. I can't remember if they were in the second game or the first game. Probably at the first game. But uh, all right, let's see if we can sell some stuff to get up to the other. Uh, We sell that. Kind of found that from a, just a random uh, kind of single spawn enemy. Well, we got 11 of these. That's the entire point we were of making all those the entire time that we have been. And we'll just sell these two if it gets us closer to the thing. It gets us pretty damn close. I'll sell this one too. I can just make another next time I make herbs to get to give one to Jessica directly. Oh, uh, we can probably sell Angelo's, uh... Well, just gonna confirm real quick that he can, in fact, uh, wear that. I'd feel really silly. Okay, he can. He can. Alright, so we can sell his leather cape here. Which I feel like was also an armor upgrade that he got at the, uh, at the Neos Island place, which kind of sucks, but, oh well. This is not only better defense, but gives a, a higher a dodge rate, which will definitely help them be a little less dead, I guess. Well, that was fun. We got the, we got the two upgrades from there, which is nice. Uh, let's see. It's, I don't think that's the way I want to go. Let's uh, we'll go this way instead. Oh boy. Big old bunch of enemies. Oh hey, she's back to her normal her normal outfit with no with no bra support. <laughs> Like, none whatsoever. Like, the dancer outfit at least looked like it had, like, some some chest support, which is nice. I can imagine it felt nice. I mean, I wouldn't know. I've never had to, like, be in a... Ow! I've never had to be in the... I've never, uh, needed a bra, so I can't really, uh... Like, say for, cer for certain, <laughs> but... Well, that guy's dead. Let's spend, let's spend less time talking about Jessica's breasticles and more time getting to this, uh, I guess this castle place. Just, just makes it, just it. Makes sense. All right, fair enough. Yeah, I, I would imagine so. That's why I, I can imagine why it's like sports bras are like a billion fucking probably a literally a billion dollar industry.
Ding. I'll just keep making these because they just make us more money just on the side. Honestly, I'd say the main goal of this stream, other than getting the gear that I've already gotten so far, is to get to this big-ass town, which is probably going to be like the next story arc location, or whatever. It's been nice getting more XP and more levels and stuff like that, but it's time to actually progress in the story. Knowing my luck, this next uh, place is gonna be um, have weapon upgrades that we can't afford because we just spent it on <laughs> armor upgrades. Oh, uh, let's see, what's the sign say? Argonia Castle, that away. Which means we're going this way. Guessing Lake Argonia is where like the plot will progress once we get to castle and say, oh no, blah blah blah, and then blah blah blah. There's these guys and their nice nipples. They're, they're NN nice nipples. <laughs> Just making me think nine, nine inch nipples. <laughs> like nine inch nails. <laughs> nine inch nipples. <laughs> Whoa, have you heard of this group? They're called nine inch nipples. <laughs> that sounds like it'd be an awful thing to have. Like why are these why do these monsters in particular have just have like very pro pronounced nipples? That's just kind of a an oddity. Oh fuck, sakes, Yeah, that's that fucking sucks. I'm sorry you have to deal with that. Like that's. Unprofessional to say the least, and transphobic to say the worst. And honestly, I'm leaning more towards the transphobic shit because they're like, why would you possibly want your boobs to go away? Hmm, I don't know, maybe because dysphoria, you fucking clod. Oh boy, these them. This is gonna. This battle's gonna suck shit because they're gonna like. They're gonna trip Mobus, guaranteed, and then the battle's gonna just drag on because they're splitting like ten different parties. At least Jessica's fast and can hurt everyone. Thanks for the hydrate spot, Dodge. Welcome. I'm gonna finish my coffee while I'm suffering through these enemies. Oh, well, there goes Angelo. They, well, they, they definitely hate me. <laughs> so I will hydrate with, with Gusto. Coffee destroyed. Um, I guess another kabuff? I don't really know. These enemies are just gonna suck. Oh, you don't get to act this match. Hype for jumping and not ha having boingos. Absolutely. Yeah, I, it's still worth it to try again, I guess. It still it sucks shit because they're just literally like... 
sucking money out of you and being transphobic at the same time. So it's like peak doctor goals, I guess, but good luck. I hope that goes good for you. Jessica level, speaking of boingos, <laughs> Jessica level increased 23. Oh, poor honey, your HP is so low. Finally, you finally learned boom. That's going to help a lot, actually, because, well... We've been using Bang for like the last like billion years. A junior sorceress. Now recovers M MP. Ooh. She not she realizes just how sexy she can be. Oh great. She 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 learned that you can blow kisses. Okay. Wait, I I You know what game whatever. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, well, knowing, knowing Dragon Quest, she's probably going to have a Puff Puff move at some point. I know, um, Jade and uh, Eleven did, so I can imagine Jessica does as well. <clears throat> We're also this big ass town at long last. We've been goofing off, we've been goofing off and grinding a bunch at various places through, for most of the stream. I think we're finally at like the next big town for the, sto the actual story. All right, now first first cast a boom. Let's go. Hopefully this does good damage. Or I'm gonna be disappointed. Eh. It did pretty good damage to everyone but these little bodkin dudes, but that's fine. I'm sure they might just have a resistance to it or something. Well, those are a non-factor now because of the, uh... Of Boom. Holy shit, she recovers that much MP? Well, if you use less MP than that, she just gains MP every turn, so... That works. Matter of fact, I'm gonna have her use, uh, probably just, like, Sizz now. Oh, there's... You know what? Fine, whatever, bang. <laughs> They're, like, two separate groups of one each. That's so annoying. Oh, level up for Angelo, nice. 10 HP up. Bows, 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 bows. He becomes an arrow knight. Multi shoe. That could be good against bosses if he just like doesn't have anything else to do. Oh, you're out of MP, so I guess you get to be on heal spam. Well, I guess you get to just stay poisoned until we get in town because I didn't not have any more MP to heal the poison. <laughs> Like we're running pretty bare bones and MP right now. Is that a castle? Let's see. If my memory serves me correctly, this must be. Yes, it's the kingdom of Argonia. In any case, there's no way the princess and I can enter the kingdom, looking as we do. We have Dual Magus's treachery to thank for that. All the more reason. To find him and put an end to his schemes as quickly as possible. I'm not about to let Dulmagus's hellish curse cheat my daughter of a match made in heaven. Uh, arranged marriages. Gross. Okay, we made it inside. There's the inn, right here, right next to everything. That works. We're gonna we're gonna stay at the end and then loot it immediately. <laughs> you know what? Fine.
It's weird to me that Angelo doesn't also have Squelch, but you know what? It, it's whatever. That's typically like one of the first things a, a cleric or priest learns in Dragon Quest, so it's kind of weird that there's just not. I'm gonna vent my frustration of the grind I had to do earlier by destroying all of their belongings. <laughs> I'll take this, and I'll take this! Oh, yeah, I'll definitely take that. Nope, you you already stole something, Yangus. You don't need to steal again. There's nothing left. <laughs> At least there. Let's go upstairs and see if we can steal from upstairs. Any, pe any petty theft I can do in here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, uh, next room! Got anything to, you got any, uh, things to steal? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, that's not worth much, but hey, it's extra free stuff. Free stuff, please. I'm, I'm, st I'm stumbling around, around Lumbridge in a drunken stupor asking for free money. Just like the old days. <laughs> Just like the old days as a, as a dumbass teenager. Oh, hey, can you give me some money? <laughs> Uh, we're gonna be disappointed because there's gonna be new stuff here I can't buy yet because I don't have them I don't have any money oh yeah there's there's a new there's a new axe it's not much better than the one he already has unfortunately oh no there's better armor here too uh... Angelo can quit that's gonna be huge for him. Uh, I just spent three. I just spent money on new stuff. Ah, oh, god damn it! Ooh, that's actually a nice uh, helmet upgrade. Well, we we might be spending a little bit more time getting to know the gold golems, <laughs> unless there's a better way to make money that I know of. But at this point, I'm gonna look up because if it's just gold golems, then I guess so be it. We'll just suffer through it. So I guess maybe like south of the uh, of the city of Neos, like down the path, maybe there's just a bunch more gold golems spawned there instead of near the city where I was. So maybe we'll try that. I don't know, but let's see if there's any story shit we can take care of here first before um, doing that. What's that? Have I seen a suspicious looking jester called Dual Magus dressed up as a jester? No, I don't think I would have remembered someone like that. See a traveling entertainer or something? No, you could say he entertains something. A murder, a murderous rampage, maybe. Who is this? The, the, the inside the weapon store? Is this just like some random lady's house? Hey, you mind if I take this? No. All right, cool. Oh, you're a ghost. It sounds like Pris Charles. <laughs> I was trying every trick in the book to get out of the initiation. Well, that's not how it happened in real life. Faking illness, shutting himself away, you name it. Since you really can't blame him for being scared. He has to take a jewel from one of those huge, fearsome argon lizards after all. Thanks, ghost lady. <laughs> Ooh, maybe this is like, is this like an apartment building? Can I steal? Ooh, alchemy! 
Well, that's cute. The ABCs. C is for cow. There's a drawing of a cow next to the letter. Well, I guess it makes sense. This is like a kid's area, maybe. See Lorenzo up on the hill. He's been disnit, dinis, disinherited. What does disinherited mean? Probably means they're not no longer getting the uh, inheritance from granddad or grandma or whatever. Oh, hello. What is going on over in Baccarat? A casino where you c can't play is like a pub where you can't drink. Uh, hello, Googlum. How are you doing? Speaking of drink, that reminds me of the casino bartender. He knows absolutely everything. He's a real one for gossip. I was at the casino once and he told me which slot machine pays out the most often. Okay, I don't know where this place is, so we're just not going to worry about it. Uh, can we get in here? The answer is no. Probably not. Probably not, yes. DQ3 Casino is smell. Yeah, it sure is. I don't know about this casino in this game, but I can imagine it's maybe not as smelly. When we have the bazaar, people come from all over the world. I'm sure they do. It's just, it's, just, it's just quiet now, honest. Right. There's a big, big ass church. Prince Charles loves a good gamble when he has a chance. He often sneaks out of the castle and heads over to Baccarat for the odd game or two. I'm just feeling a bit peeved now, though. Eh? Well, with the casino being closed down. Oh no, capitalism! Capitalism has been destroyed! Alright, there's nothing here we need. Oh no! Yeah, the, the, the DQ3 uh, Game Boy Color game is probably the best version of, of DQ3. Because it has, like, the metals and, like, the metal dungeon and, like, the Devangon stuff. And it has, like, it's surprisingly more updated than, like, any of the SNES, the SNES versions. Or, like, I have the version on the Switch and it's not as updated as the <laughs> Game Boy Color version. Which is sad that it's such an old game is, like, the best version of that game. Uh, I think I was just looting houses or something, because we're about, it's about like 26 minutes or so till I have to end my stream. You rebuild a, a Game Boy Color Mother, oh wow, that's impressive. I wouldn't know the first thing about doing that, gonna be completely honest, but that's really cool. There's an ancient ritual here in Argonia, where the prince has to prove he has what it takes to rule the kingdom after his father. He does that by defeating a rare monster called an Argon Lizard and bring back its jewels, proof of his conquest. Sort of like a coming of age ceremony to go kill a lizard and take its jewel. <laughs> Neat. You got anything to steal? You might. Okay, you can't look at those. A turban. Sweet. Sweet. Alright, well, we got anything else around here I can steal? I guess we're not interested in bottles. I am interested in property damage, though. Cool cheese. As opposed to that uncool cheese, I guess. Oh, all right. Um. Uh, well, I guess this. Oh no. Oh, sneaky fucking barrel hiding from me. You know what happens to barrels that hide? <laughs> they get destroyed on the couch. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, that one. Was a, that uh, that apartment was a bust. Oh, um, maybe apartment's not the right word for some of these. Oh, there's just a table here. What's up, person? I have to keep my voice down because I don't want to be overheard. But I'm more than a little worried about the future when I think of Prince Charles ruling the roost. I mean, it's hard to believe he's King Clavius' son with, who, with looks like that. This is looks that weren't up to scratch. It wouldn't matter, but it goes a lot deeper than that. Uh-oh. Every time my husband opens his mouth, he comes out with something bad about Prince Charles. I can see where he's coming from, but still. You gotta respect your monarchs, eh? No. No, we, no, we don't. Strong antidote, nice. We'll probably sell that for some money. 
Nothing in there. Hairband, which will probably sell. We should probably head to the castle, because I imagine that's where, like, the drama, like, Charles gonna be like, Oh, I can't, I can't kill the Argon Lizard! But like, but you must, you must go, and then he'll, like, be forced to go, and we'll have to go save his ass or something. I mean, I hate, like, speculating like that about games I'm actually wanting to play and enjoy, but, like, my brain just, like, immediately jumps to, Oh, I bet this is what's gonna happen, and... Unfortunately, sometimes I'm just exactly right, and it just kinda sucks. It's like, well... I, I'm too good at just guessing what the game's gonna do. I played way too many fucking JRPGs <laughs> at this point, especially Dragon Quest. There's still some I haven't haven't beaten or played. Like I've not played four, five, six, or really seven, and I refuse to play more of two because it's fucking boring. Like it's probably like the most boring game I've ever played, let alone Dragon Quest game. And you gotta, you gotta do a lot to make, to turn me off from a Dragon Quest game. Like, a lot, a lot. Like, it's like, probably like, one of my favorite, it's one of my favorite series. Is, 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 is. <clears throat> and it's just, completely like, I got to a certain point, I'm like, oh, you gotta go on a wild fucking goose chase to find these emblems. It's like, no, I don't want to do that. <clears throat> like, at least with Dragon Quest 3, the, the orb hunt's not as mindless, because... I mean, maybe it is, but it just didn't seem like it was nearly as bad as DQ2's, like, big ol' fucking, big ol' fuck you of the emblems. Plus, the enemies were just not very well balanced in DQ2. Even on the GBA version, where things aren't as painful as the, as the SNES, ver no, the NES version, rather. Like, I guess the, the NES version, the NES versions are just so bad that, like, like, it's like hardcore people only play those, and I guess I'm not really that hardcore. You know, whatever. <laughs> Alright, what's going on in here? It looks a little empty. This building is used for big events, but there's not nothing much going on lately. Okay, I thought this was like the entrance to the castle, but I guess it's not. I guess we'll see if we can steal stuff from here anyway. Um, hello, I want to steal! Uh, it's the Billy Joel booth, so I can play Piano Man. Oh, that's like actually some money right there. That's like 550 gold. What's up, dude? Did you... Yeah, the, the I, I I haven't I don't think I've tried playing in the DQ3 on the NES like once, but that was after, that was long after I had played the the dude's got a bird nose. Look at him. <laughs> That's like long after I played the Game Boy Color version of DQ3 on the GBA, like not on the Game Boy Color for like part of, a long part of my childhood. So I don't really have an incentive to go back to the NES version. Same with the DQ1 on NES. Like I've seen people speed run it or whatever, which is my my the, the extent of my interest in interacting with it. But I have played and beat the first one on the GBA because it's a lot less painful. Like, there's a lot, like, the gold grind and, like, XP grind's a lot better on the Game Boy Color, uh, port. The darkest powers in the world! We got any more shit to steal? Since it's, since it's basically, like, oh, there's literally nothing up here. Since it's, like, another, like, 20 minutes before I end my stream, I'm just kind of wandering around trying to find stuff to sell so I can maybe buy some piece of armor. And then next stream I'll probably like continue with the story or gold grind or something. <clears throat> I made I made a big oopsie with my uh, skill points on Yangus. Like I put a lot of skills in the ham uh, skill points in the hammers and hammers suck. <laughs> Axes are the way to go and I put most of my skill points in hammers long before I realized I should be doing axes. Granted, I already have Hatchet Man, so it doesn't really matter much anyway, I guess. Alright, so that's an interest to the castle. Can we just not go in the castle? 
Maybe we have to talk to these people. I mostly just wanted to uh, <laughs> make sure Prince Charles doesn't. Work. Okay, I guess the prince is on a doing a little bit of a runabout. Yeah, I was like, oh, a hammer seemed like the thing that will let you, like, because, like, one of the early things to get is penny pinch. I was like, oh, maybe that's how you steal stuff in this game. So I was like, okay, cool, we'll do that. And then, uh, no. Apparently that's not the case, and they're just kind of... Hammers are very infrequently obtained from stores, so it's like, mm, I feel bad. And, there, and apparently there's no way to, to revocate skill points in this game. Like, I, like, Eleven has, like, uh some way to do that. I can't remember what it's called. Okay, sure, whatever. Cool kid. I'm sure you're really proud of serving the, the royal family or something. I'm gonna destroy your barrels. <laughs> so if I, so if I, if I could restart things, I would put all my skill points into probably axes with the Angus and be much stronger off for it. I can imagine, at least. Uh, I guess let's go in this door. And if, I, and if I do end up restarting the game and replaying from the beginning, I'll probably I'll probably try to play the 3DS version instead, because. I guess there's a lot of quality of life stuff in that version. Like, I'm sure it's not really that hard to track down the ROM and emulator for that. Even though they're pretty new systems, I'm sure it's not that bad. I mean, I played Tales of Zillia on PC with a, a PS3 emulator, and it was a little janky because emulation for PS3 is still pretty new, but I did it. My only son, Lorenzo, is off on a world tour at the moment. It's a good day to, it's a good, good to let your children go off and broaden their horizons while they're young. I have high hopes for him being a very important man in the future. Every time I see the name Lorenzo, I can't go be, help but going like, LORENZO! <laughs> I don't know, it's something about that name. Fi ooh, that's pretty good. Secret bookcase! Lorenzo is telling everyone he wants to set on a journey to broaden his horizons. It's painfully obvious that it's just a convenient excuse to get out of his duties at the castle. Then again, he says he plans to stop by Alexandria to see his fiance. so how can I say no? It remains my fervent hope that his association with Jessica will knock some sense into that thick skull. Oh, I bet I bet this guy is the fucking weirdo that is trying to like that's like dating Jessica. Lorenzo! Hydrate. Plants need you are correct. I have like some leftover Diet Pepsi from <laughs> from last night's dinner, so I'm gonna drink that. Mmm, delicious. Yeah, Yangus thinks so too. Mmm, it's a little flat. Mmm. I don't I I I, it's a, I don't regret that at all. Mmm. <laughs> I, as a plant, I can confirm that plants do not need Pepsi. Brio? Uh, I, as, as you don't know about Pepsi, I don't know about Brio. <laughs> so, what is Brio? What is it like? Are you from the States? If not, that would explain why I don't know what Brio is. Because <laughs> I am from the States. The America, if you will. Ah, Canada, okay. From the good old land of Canada. <clears throat> is this just is this just church or is there more to it? So far, I have no idea where if this is the I'm guessing this is the right place to be, but I don't know of like what story trigger. What a sorry state of affairs. Well, with the counterly prince and the chancellor's good for nothing son, Lorenzo. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh uh, yes, Neki is Nakura Neki is also Canadia. <clears throat> Do you know that King Clavius had an elder brother called Eltrio? <laughs> well, apparently he gave up his title and everything and left Argonia. I don't know why though. Well, that's great. You got you guys got some weird water going on here. I've never quite understood why like places like. In Dragon Quest, sometimes have these like, oh, camera's not was not liking me looking at the lily pads. 
Like, I don't, I don't really understand why churches in Dragon Quest sometimes have stuff like that, like just water with lily pads. I mean, it's cool, I guess. Maybe that's the whole point. Um. Oh, cool. Is, is the entire uh, drink bitter, or is it just, uh... Is it bitter at all, or... Oh, oh, okay. I think this is where Lorenzo's from. Do you remember Lorenzo? The man who thought he was my fiance, he thought? Even though you only met him once or twice, he got quite a memory. Lorenzo's... Lorenzo is the son of the Chancellor here. That's why my mother chose him to be my future husband. Without consulting me, I might add. Can you believe it? She's obsessed with smuggling me into polite society, whether I like it or not. Yeah, Jessica, fuck that shit. I ain't got a clue myself, but I wonder what it's like being engaged from the day you're born. Ah, you're probably... Ah, you, oh, you're thinking about Princess Medea? Well, personally, I'd love to have a fiancé. With a safety net like that, you can try your hand at the game of love to your heart's content and never worry. You'd always have someone to fall back on. Who could want for more? You know, you don't exactly sound like someone who's spent most of his life in an abbey. <laughs> yeah, uh, Angelo's a bit of a fuckboy. I'm typically not a fan of, like, fuckboy characters, because they typically don't have, like, good story arcs to make them not just skeevy assholes. But, you know, you do what you gotta do. Ah, uh, cilantro type. Yeah, it, uh, yeah. It's either soap or, mmm, yummy. Or maybe it's like, mmm, yummy soap. <laughs> uh, well, I have no idea what we're supposed to do from here at this point. I know we're supposed to come here. But yeah, I can, yeah, I, yeah. I can imagine it is. Like, like some things just taste really good and you're like, oh, I want to just drink more of that. Well, we got like 12 minutes, so maybe I'll just go grind more gold golems and, and scream and cry and throw up because everything else with the gold golems is just the worst fucking things to fight ever. Like all these, like, I, 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 I was fighting these, I was fighting out here earlier and um, yeah, the little dancing dudes, um, one of them used death dance and killed only Angelo, who's the person with the res. And then I went and healed him, came back, and then it happened again. And then I came back again, and it happened to everyone but Angelo. And these fucking red tail hipsters suck too. That being said, I do a <laughs> public thrust. That being said, it Jessica does have boom now, so maybe I'll make these fights a little less painful. Dr. Pepper's pretty okay for as long as sodas go. I usually try to just stick to like, uh, like lemonades or stuff like that, if possible. That, yeah, because my teeth do not, do not, um, deal well with soda, because I've been, oh, this is the, I hate they, these guys so much. I sure do love that, like, the fastest person in my party is moving after literally everyone else, and everything else. Uh, fuck's sakes. Whoa, it's like nothing even fucking ever happened in this battle because the fucking hustle dance. God, I hate these enemies so much. Like, Jessica's supposed to move before everyone else, pretty much, and she just didn't- Okay, now she wants to. Good, fuck you, red tail hipster. <laughs> oh, look at that! Isn't that so cute? I mean, it is a pretty cute little dance. That's- I, I have a feeling that's kind of what's going on. Like, her, she's so much faster that, like, like, some weirdness goes on and the turn order gets fucked up. I really want to be surprised. Ah, oh, 
Oh, jeez. That sucks. <laughs> it sucks that that, that ha just happens. <laughs> like, there's so many just, like, bum scoop, just partially broken shit. I hate that. I hate when I hate when people do that to people. Like a lot. Well, that's nice of you. I still have like my original GBA from when I was a kid, just kind of floating around somewhere. Same with the Game Boy Color. It still works, surprisingly. So we're gonna just kind of come out here near the ship and just kind of whistle. I guess. See if we can find more gold golems. Because I guess down here maybe they're more common? I don't know. Oh, holy shit, there's three of them. Well, maybe this is the place to be. These retail hipsters are uh, problematic, but. I'm, I'm really tempted. Uh... Oh, see, they're gonna get really good or really bad, because there's just a lot of damage we're facing off against. Ah, I see a custom job. Sweet. Oh, yeah, this is probably gonna go pretty poorly. Yep. 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 <laughs> Fuck sakes. I think Jessica's just gonna have to miss out on some XP because if if, if Angelo dies, then I have to leave anyway. Never mind. Oh, well, there's still one left, I guess. Jesus fucking Christ. Alright, whatever. Was it worth it? Probably. That's a lot of gold. Oh, great, a wing of bat. Fucking thanks. <laughs> Fuck's sakes. I think that might be the first time I've had Hero die. Yeah, just... Desperate attack. Guess what? You're dead. Lalameo. <laughs> Gotta say, though, that's like easily the fastest way for me to get gold right now, is just fighting gold golems. It sucks the stuff that's... Like, they're not that bad other than, like, desperate attacks, but everything that comes with them is just, like, the fucking worst shit you've ever seen. Well, let's, uh, fight some more. <laughs> oh boy, foxes. I might have just gotten really lucky with those three gold golems, because I've never seen more than two until now. And these suck, too. It all sucks! That fucking sucks! <laughs> That might be a sweep. Well, almost. Okay, never mind. I, I don't know how Yangus outran that fox, but all right. Weird. There's weird shit going on here. Sometimes with the agility rolls. Oh, fuck. This could be a legitimately a party wipe if they all three decide they want to do their do their little funny funny attack. Cause there's nothing you can do about their um no fuck fuck these guys. If even one of them dies the thwack, that's like a net positive. I don't even care. Oh fuck these guys. Sexy butts. They like to do the little public thrust every so often. Little demon dudes. Yeah, that thwack actually came in clutch, so if that's also a pretty new, a pretty recent uh, addition to my arsenal as well as Thwack. I didn't have, I didn't have that or Boom the last time I was here grinding these, so you can imagine how um, much fun it was. 
Oh, these fucking tap devils. These these things have caused me more grief than I would care to admit. Them and their fucking gym shirt. Them and their freaking sweatpants. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you can read my inputs, asshole. Fucking birds. There's no way that they just randomly decided to heal themselves right out of the gate. Great. I, I, I love when you dance. Motherfuckers. <laughs> Fuck you, bird. Oh yeah, it healed itself. I was wondering why it's not dead yet. It's because it, uh, it's just healing itself back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Because why not? Why wouldn't it just heal itself over and over again? Fucking bird. Bird up. I promise I'm having I, I'm having a great time with this game and I like it a lot. It's just, these some of these enemies are very frustrating to deal with. I right, probably like more about them all in the stream because it's like oh perfect good place great place to end it off on. Actually, two gold golems, sweet. If we're lucky, this will be a really quick fight because we'll just stack up the golems where they can move, but they're probably gonna kill someone. I guess we'll see. They are faster than they look. That's one. That's another one I need to get around to. I played the first uh, DQ Builders and had a good time with it for what it for what it is. How are the golems not dead? Like how? You know what? Whatever. It's fine. They'll they'll die this turn. So yeah, I had a pretty good time with the first DQ Builders. I just never got around to playing the second one. The next Dragon Quest I'll probably be playing after this one is going to be that new DQ Treasures game that's coming out in December, because it sounds like a lot of fun. Like, just, ro just ro like roaming around the world with, like, Eric and uh, Mia, just finding treasure with a bunch of goofy monster friends. That sounds like a very fun time. Alright, we're going to go to this hilltop hut, heal, and save, because that's kind of like my go-to place. It's like 12, 12 gold to stay at the inn, and there's like an inn and a... Uh, church like right here it's it's amazing hello bull cut I shouldn't make fun of him he's really nice for letting us stay here for 12 gold yeah we're up to five grand now thanks to all the, the golems we found they do seem a bit more common further down where I was instead of near the gates but I'm, I'm also my have also just gotten lucky so it's hard to say all right let's save <clears throat> On another streams though, um, my normal stream for tomorrow is gonna have to move to a uh, Thursday, just cause I got st I got we got I got a clean house and stuff tomorrow since I wasn't able to really do it this weekend being on being on call. Hi, Bubba. Hi, Bubby. Kitty. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and close that stuff. Well, thanks for being here, Nakora. It's always nice having you around. You you are a positive influence. He's he's here. He's meowing. He sure it he sure do be meowing. <laughs> but yeah, my normal Tales of stream for tomorrow is gonna be on Thursday, and my Wednesday stream might not happen either, just cause we have to have someone come out and look at our stove, cause it's it's like some one of the sensors or something's fucked up and broken and. I was wondering when something like that would happen. It's been a while since something fucking broke. Being 
it's it's expensive being poor. <laughs> That's all I'll say about that. But um, yeah. So I'm gonna be into my stream for now. I'll see if I let's see if I can raid someone real fast. Cause I'm sure there's probably at least one or two people on my friends list thingy that are uh, thingy that are uh, what. Uh oh, echo, echo. <laughs> I usually don't have my uh, my Twitch tab on whatever I had it on. I think I had it on my channel for some reason. No idea. Don't know what was going on there, but you got to hear me. But again, and again, and again, and again. Let's see, Twitchy Charlie. They're they're a good one usually. Let's see, Hanklet, Darman, De Darling Demon Eclipse, Eclipse. I can't talk. Well. We're probably gonna drop in and see our good friend Digi Dragon Seven. He's 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 a good pal of mine, and he's playing his like he's inadvertently sort of become like a pathologic streamer or whatever, which is like this weird old like game about like a plague. I don't really understand much about it, but it's pretty cool. So we're gonna drop in and say hi to him. So I will end my stream and we'll start the raid. See you there, and if I don't see you on Wednesday or Thursday, I'll see you next time. Have a great day.